everybody. Welcome to Hangout and Art. How is everyone today? Um, if you're watching the video, this is a live stream with live people in the audience that we're chatting with. Hey, Marguerite, Anne, Terry, lots of people here already. Hi, Dar. Uh, let's see, who else is here? Kimberly, and that's it so far. Hi, everybody in the background. So what's new? How's the weather? Eileen's temperature dropped 30 degrees from yesterday. We had snow yesterday. It's crazy. So is it going to, did you get rain and stuff too, Eileen, or did it just drop? I think it rained during the night. Oh, okay. Okay. Is it sunny now or cloudy? It's, it's partially sunny. Yeah, like overcast. Yeah, I guess they keep getting snow out west. In uh, pa uh, Patty was in Colorado last week, and they had had a bunch of snow. And the week before, they had, what, like 12 feet or something out in wow. California. Wow, that's crazy. I know. It's hey, Barb. Like it was 28 this morning here. It's now 33. Oh, wow. But it's, 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 it's cold. We're but it's, open it. it's, it's the first day of spring. Today's the first day of spring? Yeah. <laughs> Gonna fool today, me. Is, today is the first day of spring. And uh, yeah. It, Hi, Pamela. It's cold. Terry. All righty. So I old. have... I just have a couple of things to show. Colleen has some fun stuff to show. I'll do mine first. I do yours first. I'm going to try to get the tape off the thing. Okay. Hey, Janet. All right. So I went to, I went to Ingrid Diker's uh, Running Rabbit Studio on Sunday, and we made a vintage, vintage um, file folder journal. She had a while ago found a couple boxes of these and gotten a really good price on them. And um, she had been doing classes and I had never gotten into the class. So she's she had enough file folders left for two classes and I was able to get into the one on Sunday. I love that folder. I know the folder's so cool. It is. And then um, I still have to bind it. She just, she attached, she, you get the, she gave us the thread and everything. So it's all all measured out but what we did she had some she had vintage papers just a bunch of different papers old book papers you could bring your own and we made like a 12 foot long sheet and then cut it down to make our to make our signature and then I just need to um to sew my signature in here but we also it was kind of fun she had sewing machines out and we sewed we did sewing on the pages kathy so do you believe this i did i sewed i sewed at ingrid's and i sewed yesterday at my house Whoa. oh where is helen where's helen i guess she's not oh, she's busy or on the road i don't know oh here no she's in the i don't helen, see where her. are you She's not below. No, but she's in chat. Oh, maybe she's busy. Oh, okay. That could be. <laughs> no link. No link. Oh, my goodness. I thought I sent a link. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, it didn't get. Oh, sorry. It was up there. I didn't send it. There you go. <laughs> I'm sorry, Helen. Or Helen. I sent it. Okay, so yeah, so this is the, um, <laughs> this is the fun journal that we'll end up with, and then we'll do, um, and then she'll probably do some journal page classes, and and if you go to her website and look up vintage file folder journals, she has some pictures of them, and also on her Facebook group. But I used a lot of um, 
old ledger papers to put in mind. She had Look at all that sewing. You're sewing there on the left. I cool. know. I, I'm a sewer now. <laughs> so, yeah. So, it was a lot of fun. It was you a know lot what of fun. to do with the sewing? Pardon me? You know what to do with the sewing? Rub what? your bone folder over it so that it lays flat. Oh, okay. Do we want it flat? <laughs> yeah, so it isn't uh, popping out on the next page. Huh. Okay. I've never heard of anyone say that before. I know. Here I did mess it up a little bit, but that's the only one I found. So, yeah, but it was fun. This will be a fun journal to, uh, to Hi, work everyone. With. And it's nice. She had all the, you know, she had all the papers out. She had strips of paper cut. She had... Um, these things, I always forget what they're called. Does everybody know that Joanne sells sequins? There's some sort of plans, right? Yeah, they're house plans, drafts or yeah. whatever. Right, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Um, yes, Joanne, this is my lead. So you made it out at, at your workshop, Kathy? Yeah, I made it at Ingrid. She, it was a class, it was a vintage, uh, we made they're a vintage file folder journal. That's nice. Yeah, there are about eight people in the class, and um, it was fun. And there was that one signature in there? Yeah, it's just one signature. Okay. Because it's Kathy, take your bone folder and rub it over the stitching. Okay, hold on. Let me get a bowl. blueprint. There we go. Dang it. Okay. So, so what do I need to do? Just rub it over the stitching like that. Just do that. Yeah, flatten it out. Oh, okay. So it doesn't. Okay, so it doesn't catch. No, at Ingrid, she had black on the uh, bobbin too. Can you see the difference? Yeah, it just kind of. Yes, I can see the difference. Wow! <laughs> it just, like flattens it. That's, oh, that's amazing. That's a great tip. I never knew that. Thank you. Pay attention. I don't think <laughs> you ever told me that. Yes, ma'am. Uh -oh. Yeah, here's where I went crazy. I did a whole bunch of sequins. And this is kind of, this is Ingrid's thing. She does a sequin. She does, um, she makes different ribbons. She puts a lot, of, she put puts the sequins in her journals. It was fun to learn how to do that. It does. It just kind of flatten. It just presses it down. We made we made a Kathy send photographic proof. She was sewing. <laughs> I didn't believe I was sewing at my house. I had to send him pictures. <laughs> photographic proof, please. I sewed. Okay. Oh, this is good, Eileen. Here, I'll do this real quick while I'm flipping. Through. No, that's fine. I'm gonna eat my yogurt real quick. And it was fun because everybody, it was fun to see everybody approach how they approached putting all their pages together and stuff like that. Fun class. I like the, the page, the combo pages you used. Um, yes. I, like, I don't know why I like the fish in the front, but I do. What's and I thing? don't, and, and what's fun is when you, you know, you put all these papers together and you don't, you don't know how they're, where you're, where they're going to be. <laughs> is there um, a theme, is there a theme to it or are you just going to decorate it? Um, now she gave us, there's some fish stuff in here. Like she, this is one of her digis. Oh, that's where the fish came from. Okay. Yeah, that she gave us a fish. So she gave us um, the print out of the fish, and then we glued it onto the paper, and then it's a little tip in here. Um, I may do, I have a lot of um, fish stuff left over from the Funky Fish book, so I may add more fish stuff in here. So it'll be nature. It'll be probably that nature and stuff. Huge. That fish is huge. I know. Isn't that cool? She does have a giant printer. That is huge. Well, it's not. It's it was a twelve by twelve. 
or an 11, eight and a half by 11. I was on really? an eight and a half by 11 sheet. Maybe. Wow. It looks bigger than that. Okay. Yeah. It's because the, uh, because the journal is, this is nine, nine and a quarter. It's like seven by nine. The journal seven by nine. Did you add the little string on there? Oh, this is to, this is the thread to sew to sew the signature in. Oh, nifty! I know, but I think that looks cool there. I might put some thread and do some dangles or something here. That's what I was thinking. Because it's got these three little holes, you could do something fun there. Do As some, well, you could do some beads or something. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Let me just finish this real quick because that does I like the different. dotted paper maps. So and Kathy, do you take are you is it for the workshop you you had the paper, she had the paper and you you know what I'm saying? Are are you gonna finish it in the workshop or no, we did the whole thing and then she'll um she has continuation workshops where if like you bring your journal in and you can work on whatever you want. And then uh -huh. she, you know, you can work on it there. She sometimes with the journal she makes, she'll do classes. Okay. Like if there's a theme for a page, she'll do a class and then we'll all work on the same page together. And then she oh. shows us, then she goes through like her technique and how she decorates and stuff like that. So the so there'll be a follow-up to that. Yeah, there'll probably be follow-up classes, or we'll just, you can just work on it too. But go to um, go to her Facebook page or her website and look at the pages in her in her um, vintage yeah. file folder journal. They're really cool. Her stuff is is fantastic. I know she had sold that online. I would have bought it. <laughs> I mean, the opportunity to go there every week or every whatever you do. I you know, she's so month. lucky. Very... Oh, and what's so fun? Now, Patty was there for the first time uh, this Sunday, oh. and she went nuts looking at all her stuff. She you mean has... uh, the pages inside, Anne? Huh? How big are the pages inside? Uh, is what she's asking. The journal pages. Well, it's the journal is nine by seven. So they're like. Um, she means the inside pages. 14 by, oh, the inside pages. The inside pages are nine. This is like nine and a quarter. And then, so the inside pages are nine. They're like nine by 14, nine by 14 and a half. Whatever, I mean, if you have a, whatever file folder you have, you just make the pages to fit in. But, um, so yeah, and then she she supplies yeah. the papers. You can bring your own. So it's fun. Thanks, Dar. Dar put up the link. Let me um let me let me show it. Let me show some of the stuff. Sometimes she I'll see if she put uh, pictures up from the. Uh, Anne wants to know their the pages are folded in half. Correct. Yes. It looks like. Kathy also added additional ones on the one on the short ones to make them longer, like the envelopes and stuff look stitched on. But see, that's the whole thing. Like to take the class, it she shows you this is how I didn't add anything. This is like the whole process of how to make it. And then when you cut it down, it just that's how it turns out. Like I haven't. I haven't added anything to the pages that I made at the class. Like when, you you up, okay. when you signed up for the class, did you know there was sewing involved? Yes. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I went in knowing I'd have to sew. Actually, I went in knowing <laughs> if I couldn't do Hi, it. Hi, Barbara, it our Barbie. <laughs> and Barbara, she's here too. Yeah, but the whole, like, she goes through the whole per process of how she does the signatures. And then this is, this is how they turn out. And then now from here, I can add stuff to it. So... 
but it's going to yeah. be fun to watch your progress with that. Yeah. Yeah. This was fun. This was fun. Okay. That was, that was a neat idea. What's that? Did to make a, to have a class with this. That's a neat idea. I know she's been doing it. She, I, the class, I don't know how long she's been doing the class, like year, you know, she's had these file folders forever and she's finally getting to the end. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to go to the Facebook page and then find, hold on, I'm almost there. You're fine. All right. Um, it's a trial folder workshop. Let me go to the other one. Here's, okay, so I'll walk us through here again. No. Share. Okay. So here's her finished pages. Oh, wow. Colorful. There's one. There's another one. Oh, I like the bunny sticking out a little. Oh. Yeah, that's her bunny. That's her. That's hers. So, yeah, so you can put as much or as little writing as you want. She does a lot of writing in her journals. And it looks very artistic the way she does it. Yeah. Yeah, that's complete. Like, that's when you see these, like, that's her style. There's a fish. And <laughs> I like the fish. I know. He looks, he, he looks all grumpy. I think it's a bass, but, I mean, uh -huh. he, he just looks, because they have that weird lip. Um, uh, but he just looks grumpy. I know he is a grumpy fish. <laughs> this will be my grumpy fish journal. <laughs> so yeah, so it's a fun grumpy fish journal. I like it. <laughs> Everyone needs a grumpy fish journal. All right. Uh, All right. Here we go. Let me stop. Anne here. says this design would work for her roaring twenties journal. And Dee Dee said, Anne has a flapper journal. A flapper <laughs> journal. That would be fun. It's my yeah. ick book. <laughs> it could be my ick book. <laughs> ick book. Yeah, he's giving you an eyeball. Yeah, he's giving he's giving the Isn't side eye. Isn't giving the eyeball, Jane? Right? He's, it's the fishes doing the side eye. <laughs> he's like, what the hell are you doing? Or, you know what I mean? Quit staring at me. I know. It's like, oh. I don't know. I can just see that fish like having a whole bunch of comments spewing out his mouth. Oh, that would be fun. That's what I should do. I should put little comments <laughs> in the pages. And when I work on that, I'll come. I'll, I should work on that online and get off a whole bunch of comments. Okay, so oh, I this, just, this is a snarky group. You get some fun ones. Yeah, we would get some fun ones. Okay, so I I did that on Sunday, and then I did get I did get one more journal from Amazon and um, I got the big Mambo Jumbo. How big was this again, Colleen? Like 16 oh, by 14 God. or something? It's huge. It's Did it say huge. on the cover? Um, in the in the paper it's 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 thick it's like the Moleskine paper. And it's, um, let me get my ruler out. Okay. So it is, okay, it's 12 across and twelve by seventeen wow. is the cover. Here, let me do this. See if I can see if we can do this. Uh-oh. Make you big. Oh, okay. So here, that kind of. And turn it sideways, maybe. Oh, yeah, that would help. Wow. And this is new, a new journal. It's a new journal. It's Beachmore Books. It's made in London. I found it. I saw it on Instagram, so I checked it. They had it on Amazon. But the best part for me is it comes in this cover. This is the box it comes in. It's like this really sturdy book box. And what I'm going to use it for is my um, my wooden stamps 
to put them to put them in the drawer and layer them in my drawer. It's a really thick, strong box. I have to I mean, reiterate this. I mean, it's it's because yeah. I was pricing trays and stuff, and you can pay anywhere from like ten to thirty dollars for a tray. So the, this was this was you get this a book was how I justified my amount of money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and this I thought was a good price. This was $28, 28 or 29 And it's really good quality paper. It's something I'll use. And then it's like I got the trays for free. Yeah, she bought a journal for the box. <laughs> no, I didn't buy the journal for the box. I bought a second journal because I knew I'd use the box and I wanted the big journal. <laughs> So anyway, but it's if you're looking for a big journal, they do have smaller ones, but the paper's similar to the Moleskine. And it's paper. in for the big box. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you have to buy the journal to get the big box. And then let me show you here. Let me show you what I did with the smaller journal box. I'll be right back. Okay. You all, I was pending out finishing the paper dolls yesterday. I was doing my paper dolls last night. My wooden stamps. <laughs> so I had them. Let me show you. I'll show you the whole progression. All right. So here's a tray that I just happened to have. So I put some here. Here's the smaller journal, the eight and a half by 11. So I use that to put my rubber stamps in. And then what I used to have my rubber stamps in was these Stampendous stuff tainer things. And I used to have them up like this and then I could pull them through. But now they don't make these anymore. So I need these thick ones for my art foamies. So I thought like I'll redo my stamps. Ew, that's a creepy guy by the tree. So now when I saw this box, I'm like, oh my goodness, <laughs> it's in here. And then now what I can do, I can take them, I can take these out of here. We're just gonna do this right here. This fits in here. These will go. Those are interesting because they're they're colored on top. Like I don't know if they, I've seen stamps that have like they're like green and orange and blue, like on the top of the wood. A lot of these are the dollar were the dollar stamps at Michael's. All on oh. sales, clearance stamps. I mean, just stamps I collected over the years. But look at Janet said she would. Um, Oh, I would collage with all the ephem ephemera. Oh, that's a good idea. J you could collage the box and then keep oh. your ephemera in it. You could collage the box and keep your stamps in it. And then when you lift it up, you have like a fun collage behind it. Oh, that's yeah. that I wouldn't even have thought of that. That's a great idea. Kathy, are you giving the uh, Dee Dee ideas? Well, that's did what you, we're here for. Did you use your four leaf clover. I can't. St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. Oh, did I use it? Yeah. Um, that's, that's good you have that. Of course I didn't use it. Why would I use it? I'm saving it for a special St. Patrick's Day. Okay. He has two of them. I didn't use them. I know. I love the little patchwork heart, but that's a stamping up one. This is a country heart patch available multicolor. I don't know who makes it. Oh no, this is rubber rubber stamp aid. Rubber stamp aid. Never heard of. That's never heard of that. It's, okay, it's like a little. It. It's like a little quilt. Now here, that's two of my things. Now I've freed up a container for my art homies in case I buy any more. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> like a creepy guy. I don't, that one's so weird. What? The, the guy right there. That guy? It's a deer. What? It's a deer. Oh, that's a deer? Yeah. What the? Wow, that's where the guy 
God, it looked like a creepy guy with like, and the antlers were claws to me. No. And then like the, the nose was his face. <laughs> OMG, I saw a creepy guy and the deer upside down. I swear to God. Okay, so look, so now we have this. And then I can take, put these here. And I can go too deep. I think I can do too deep. I don't know if I can do three deep. But now these drawers, I can get these drawers thicker, like double the size. Oh, I like and the I could put wrap. four. I could stack in four if I got a deeper drawer. So yeah. I, I like with the stamps. <laughs> so did we just see all of your wooden stamps, basically? In, in all those boxes, Kathy, is that all you have? Not that that's um, not a lot, but I I may have a couple more. I'm gonna say there's some empty spaces. Do you not have enough to? I was like, Shop. Um, I have I have another double drawer full of them. <laughs> They're still in the old containers. <laughs> Do we want oh, to see neither. it? Oh, they're like, oh, okay. That they're not, let me see. What did I do with them? They're still. Um, we all want to see all your stamps. Show it. Oh <laughs> yeah. Bar Barbie's we lusting. We Barbie's lusting over your stamps. 10 wow. bags, 10 bags of Dee Dee's ephemera. We need to now see the, we need to snoop through your stamp drawer. <laughs> Hey, Kristen. Hey, Kristen. I can't wait to see the rest of her stuff. Okay, so these are yeah, kind of more my, bags to go. <laughs> I had seen another tray that I had got, but I like these book trays better. Um, hold on. Okay. All right. Okay, so this is the double drawer. So I did find like these plastic trays to just kind of stack them because I figured they'd be easy to go through. So these are in these trays, but I'll move these to the new box. You have some beautiful stamps, Kathy. Thank you. And I got them all on sale. Like these were all like $1.62. Oh, I have the I have the monkey. Do you have the monkey? Black I think monkey, she's gonna I got that on clearance too. Oh, I like just, a flamingo. What I would do is like when I go to Michael's. Oh, these are these are good stamps. These are I think Moon and the Maker stamps. <laughs> Chris would like to stoop through other people's grand supplies too. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> These are, see, I've tried to organize them. These are like numbers and letters. But what I used to do, like I go to Michael's for scrapbook stuff. And if I see a stamp on, if I see one on sale, I'd grab it if I liked it. Barbie too. We're <laughs> all snoopers. Okay. And then this oh, is. Oh, is that chess pieces? No. What is that? What? That are party hats. Oh, cute. Yeah. Just a little, little gym shoe. Mm -hmm. But now the so the way these are organized now, these little party hat stamps on some Timmy people. Yeah. Oh, those would be good on Timmy people. See, I'm like glad I brought little... this out. Yeah. See, now I'm hoping that now that it's the way this is organized, they'll be easier to look at, and I'll use some more. Okay, so we've got that. Then these are just. Then I thought, well, I'll put all my alphabet stamps together. These will stay in here probably because they just fit perfect and they don't fall out. But these again <laughs> are like a dollar each at Michael's. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I use them sometimes. So these are all my alphabet stamps. Let's see, these are still in the old boxes. Oh, here's a jar stamp. These are stamps that didn't have a home. And then I put, I think I'll put all my alphabet stamps together here. So I have this, these, some of the ones, all the Timmy alphabets like are in alphabets here. All together. So that goes here. Here's the Timmy ones that I picked up. Now I put those with my foam stamps. See, and this is 
the, I know. And that's the question. Do you put them with your phone stamps or do you keep all your alphabet stamps together? Because they're I all know. together. So yeah, right now, cool. because my other stamps aren't organized, all the alphabet <laughs> stuff's going together. Um, these are some new stamps that I got and that didn't have a home. Oh, these are my Poe. My Poe stamp. Cute. Yeah, another moon. These are red lead. Red lead studio. I have these. Oh, this is a stamp. Uh, uh, Stampers Anonymous. When I was in the um, when I was in the tag swap, we used to get a free stamp every year from Stampers Anonymous. Um, oh, and then these are just oddball stamps that are the acrylic stamps that I have to figure out. I have to figure out what I'm going to do with all We those. get a free journal with the tray, Tammy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's right. You get two trays and a free journal. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, okay, so now this is all my wooden stamps. Okay. So hopefully I've given you guys some ideas. Oh, Kimberly said that she's never ending with her stamps. She has moved them so many times. I'm I hope, yeah. You know, I thought I had a good system, you know, with these, with the stuff tainers. But if I can't get any more, it's, I can't, you know, I've got to start a whole new system for the foamies. So yeah, so this, these, all these empty ones now I'll use for art foamies when I buy them. And then I kind of, I really like this, these uh, stacking the trays. Stacking up the trays and then. Oh, those are yeah. neat. Your typewriter and your paint brushes. Let's see those. Yeah, here. Oh, the typewriter is below it. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's my typewriter. I've got a postcard stamp. These are yeah, they, oh, it's, it does kind of get together. The I think the paintbrush, postcard, typewriter, like vintage, and then the others are backgrounds. Like I think that should be in that drawer. I'm gonna tell okay. her how to do it. <laughs> okay, so Colleen, you need to come up here because actually, oh, they are kind of organized because here's all the music things. Um, these were quickly organized. It's not a final organize. You're getting four trays and two journals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, Tammy. I know. See, it's it's a great deal. No, but if you if you price like sturdy trays, they're expensive. Like oh, these yeah, were bad. I got like yeah. a dozen of these plastic ones. I think for like fifteen dollars, which was good, but they aren't that big. They're small. They're small. So, and they're, I mean, they're okay. But now that I have like this. And it's hard and to find them dirtier. with the square corners. The box has nice square corners. Yes. Yes. The other ones are rounded. I think they're, they're called like kids art trays or something. But yeah, no, the stamps fit perfectly. The we had journals is 12 by 17. Yes. With the two free, you know, storage trays. Okay. Well, I'm getting four trays, two journals. <laughs> Actually, so, yeah, this is a bigger one than the last one we got. Is this yeah, the other one was brand? what, eight and a half by 11, I think. Yes, eight and a half by 11. Same brand, but bigger journal. Same yeah. paper. Yeah, so that's a smaller one. Nice paper, nice trays. And, um, yeah. I think it's easy to lift them up and look through them quickly, too, with this, this way it is. doing it. Because the other system, I thought, like, oh, I can just flip through them. It, was, it, was, it wasn't easy because I had them all jammed in. And you just keep them much better. Ways to look and sit them back down and it don't have to be in there in a certain order. I think that would be a quick way to find them. Oh, yeah. And yeah, and if you don't want to keep them in order, just in the trays, it's easy to see how it is. Barbie said I have a ton of stamps, so what am I going to do the 12 free journals? Well, Barb, I guess you're going to be busy. <laughs> Get to work. 
put this together. All right, let me move these back. Oh. All righty. Oh, shoot. It's almost like, though, when you dig them out and you get them out, if you could just like take a half a day or a day and just stamp off a bunch. Okay, well, it's funny that you mentioned that, Helen. <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna come over there done. and stamp off. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so remember this Seven Gypsies yes. ledger? Yes. I decided it would be a good place Hi, Peggy, popping in from the grocery Hi, store. Hey, hey, Peggy. Uses clear acrylic shadow box frames as trays. I removed the white insert and used them for 25 oh, years. Wow. Okay. Clear see? acrylic shadow box. Where do you get these clear acrylic shadow box? Oh, um, Joe, uh, Michael's. Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. Yeah. That's a good oh. idea. Okay, okay, so anyway, this Peggy. A couple years ago, I thought, oh, I need this this ledger. It's um faux oh, ledger. Seven well, gypsies. This is before we had ledgers. I right. Think. This is before we had ledgers. I'm like, oh, yeah. I need to get this ledger. And I thought, well, this would be a great place to keep track of all my stamps. So I did start, Helen. Stamping oh, like a little stamp, stamp, little stamp inventory. Yeah. So, but you know what? Now the way those stamps are organized, Michael's. I, can, I okay. can just do a tray by tray. Do a tray. Do some stamps. I mean, it doesn't have to be a big, huge project. Yes, you're right. And they're all kind of organized. Now these are my. These are acrylic stamps that I have. I like the way Jen has hers organized. Oh, Jen has <laughs> Jen has a great system. She's got tons. She has she has hundreds of stamps, but um, so this way I can like go through and see like oh I'll use a stamp and I did start like these are Andy Skinner these are Seth After, so I did kind of put them in order. These are all Tim Holtz, but um, yeah I have to get back to this, but it'll be much easier to do this now. Oh yeah, you got all those too. That's true. Yeah, so I mean, I can just pull out a tray, do a couple pages. These were, oh, I ordered um, Viva Las Vegas, one of their, you know, packs where they just send you a bunch of stamps. Hi, Amy. Haven't seen you in ages. Hi, Amy. Oh, hi, me. Good to see you. Hi, Amy. Um, these are, so I did, I did get these in here. These are the, the pack of... Viva Las Vegas, where they send you just the sheets of stamps. Yes, I did that once. Which I've actually, oh, there's a Michael Jackson in here. I actually, I mean, I have used some of these stamps. Um, oh, there's some cool stamps in here. Yeah, there's some that you could for use for your book. Some that you could use for your weekly flashcard. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Is that so payment? Yeah. You could do <laughs> the man traveling pants. <laughs> oh, yeah. The traveling pants. And then, yes, Jerry. Pound of rubber. Oh, that's right. And then, okay, so I have lots of blank pages. That's on, I'm putting that on. <laughs> <laughs> Mark said she solved all of her problems and gave away all of her stamps. Yes, it's <laughs> good idea, Marguerite. So yeah, so you can. I mean, there is a way you can document your stamps, and at least this it gives you an idea. Like, oh yeah, I do have that. You know, hers. Yeah, I tried that. That was a lot of work. This. So this. This will be like something fun. This will be like a fun project just to put all my stamps in here. I gave up getting the trying to pull them off. Oh, what documenting them? The pull off the rubber off the blocks. Oh, I like the blocks, and, and I, as long as I have room for them, I'll keep them. So there, that's my those I are all my rubber stamps. To do that, yeah, that requires patience and. 
All right. I lack, I lack patience. See, but the thing is, the way I have it organized, I can just be like, okay, I'll do these two trays today. I don't, I don't feel like I have to do it all at once now. Yeah. Where before, that's, it was like, that's true. Where I before see. I was like, oh, I have to get all this done. No, I'll just grab a tray, put it in. Yeah. And it's fun looking through it because then you see all of them that you may ha not have remembered and, you know, it inspires you to use it again. I know. Yeah, it's, it's, there is Timmy people party hats in there. Just say I know. Little people. I, <laughs> I know. And just even like the V. I like that the circle. Actually, I like that circle stamp on the left by the bingo. I like That's, that. Um, Carabella. Oh, that one. Carabella. Is that the name of it? Chow Bella or whatever. Carabella. Yeah, I think yeah, that's some great that. background stamps. Or I take that back. This might be a Timmy stamp because it is in the Timmy section. Oh. This see? I think this is a Tim stamp. So you just see some little tabs on your pages saying Timmy section, uh, Dina section, like a little, you know what I mean? Okay, yeah. well, Colleen, you know what? I'll pack all this up, drive it up, and while you're recuperating, you can do that for me. <laughs> Give me stuff to do. <laughs> I don't have enough to do. I know. But yeah, so it's fun. It's kind of, and it is, it's just fun to go back and look through the stamps. So, so anywho, like some of these, now I can see using some of these in the graffiti journal. Oh yeah, oh, the yeah. shoe. I love the, the shoe. shoe. This <laughs> this one in the graffiti for the background. The sign, open, close. The I little like uh, street, the street cone. That's interesting too. Uh huh. Yeah. Because who doesn't need that just, kind of stuff? I just add a dumb little green guy on it, and that's my street. Because the one person, oh, yeah. out, someone else is still sticking a green man halfway out in the road, and then they park <laughs> their car on the other side. And then oh, you that's to, so you don't bump their car. <laughs> and no, it's so you no, so you're forced to slow down because you got to squeeze between the green man and their car. Pain the asses. Pain All right, ass. so that's hopefully that gives you some ideas for your. What to do with your stamps and your boxes from your journals. Okay. I love it. All righty. So, and I think, okay, so I got the, the journal, <clears throat> the Ingrid thing, my stencil girl. I do get my stencil girl monthly thing that's upstairs. I'll show that later. I think that's it. I think that's all I've got. Colleen's been busy, though, doing, um, making fodder, Colleen. I'm kind of jealous. Here, let's put, Colleen's been shopping and making fodder. Yeah, she's been real busy. Which I haven't, I haven't had time to do any of that stuff. I've been, I literally I last night big. kept, I was dreaming. I was cutting out stuff. That's how it is. Oh no. I kept dreaming I was cutting this stuff out in my dream because I've been doing this for like a while. And hey Colleen, like, when you're done, we'll open up Dee Dee's box. Okay, I'll make it quick. So this is just basically I kind of showed the process of the sheet of watercolor paper where I traced it with a pencil. And then the next phase is coloring it in with some watercolor. And then the next phase is adding all the little doodles and with black and white marks and then crusty cutting all these guys out. See, I should have been doing this as I was buying all of Megan's stencils. I should have been doing this instead of waiting till I have 500 of them and then start doing it. Then it wouldn't have been so bad if I'd been doing it as I bought them. But I have lots of ephemera now. Anne like, says, what a beautiful pile of ephemera. I agree, Anne. It is just all piled up like that. It's beautiful. Hey, Kelly, you need to take a picture that of that and tag Megan on Instagram. Because oh, that's I should. cool. Did you? Yes, I should do that. This is not all of them. This is the second batch of them, which is basically houses, barns, uh, birds, um, greenery. And 
I think that was it. It was flowers, buildings, and birds, is and and a few um and some few animals. I did like the rabbits that I didn't know she remember her having last year. So this is how to help keep me. I made a few extras of these guys because I like them. Oh, and I even made the little clouds that she has, all the little clouds and stuff. I really like these. Yeah. I think cool. these could go in my 70s journals. I love the I love these. Oh, the so I think I, I might have to make some extras of these because I could see me using these this summer in a journal, garden journal, 70s journal. I also did a few of her little, um, I don't know what you call it, the journaling stencil that she had with um, in the beginning when she was doing the journaling stencils. So, you know, so you can write something on your page, you know. So I like this one because it looks like a lollipop. But, yeah, so that that's half of the stuff I did, and that's the other half. So that has kept me out of trouble. And then I did a bunch of her words, so I could just cut them out and use them on a page. That I did with paint. And then the other, besides that was, thanks, guys. Busy fingers. Oh, uh, you've been lurking. That's okay, Amy. That's all right. We appreciate you being here. Hi, Tori. Um, then I got the things from Happy Paper People, um, the jar the ledgers. This was oh, this one. I want to see your ledger. Is this that the one you won? You won this one? No, this is one that I bought. Oh. Uh, this this one's like. 10, no, nine and three quarters by six and a quarter. Close to Kathy's little folder. And it's, oop, backwards. I like the cover. It's got like the thick, um, I don't know, I don't know what you call those. This is from, oh, this is fine. Yeah, it's in pencil, it's not in pen, so it's not like it's fancy as I would like, but it's still not bad, though. It's a lot, of, like the front of it's got the fancy writing from 1912, and then the back of it is pencil, this is 1936. 1936. It goes from 1912 to 1936, that's amazing. Yeah, blank in it, and then, but this, what's weird is you back, here it says 1907 in the back so they must like, have had different sections for different things yeah because that's the nicer handwriting and pen and then this is the pencil and not as nice handwriting and then the front is back to the nicer handwriting so well it kind of varies, but anyway, these would be it. I like the size of it. I think this would be good to do. You could do um, any of the little girl, like if you want to start doing any of the girl faces or whatever. Mm -hmm. No, that is a nice size. This one's hey, bigger. Stephanie. Hi to everybody who's come in. Hi, Stephanie. Stephanie. Stephanie's looking for a link for those stencils. Which which stencils? Oh, I did Quinlan. Okay. Thirteen by eight on uh, Etsy. Yeah, it's it. She has the she has some great stencils. I like them. They're really they're super cute. This one was oh god, backwards. Don't have me selling these. <laughs> Getting open the right front to the back. Um. Ooh, 1918 farm account. Pretty, yeah, this one's old. This one has 500 pages, but, like, there's only writing in the front. It's got, there's a 1919, and then the rest is all blank. So the blank, nice. was, the blank ones would be good just to tear out and coffee dye or... Jelly prints. That, those oh, would be good for jelly prints. Jelly prints. Yeah, these since they are these are blank. I figured these would be. Hey, I'll Kathy. just them out and use them for jelly plating. Yeah, she said that's a great idea. Or 
uh, doing that method, Robin Marie method with the coffee and the rings and oh yeah yeah yeah. And then uh, the free one, I the the one that the girl bought that gets a giveaway is this. That is gorgeous. Wow. It it I weighs. Still can't believe the Colleen one that. I That's a hundred and twenty dollar uh, antique photo album. And it weighs a ton. I, I can't even. I, I put this on the scale. I'm I'm guessing three pounds. This thing is. I have food. never seen one in that good of condition. But it's got two photos in here. Tom said it better. We better not get any ghosts. <laughs> I was like, no. I think that's funny. So if you have um, photos of old photos, you can get ghosts. That's what he said. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, well, I got a bunch of Timmy people upstairs. Just copies of them count that we're in trouble. <laughs> I get drawers and drawers of them. <laughs> we're, we're all in trouble. Uh. Yeah, the rest is. Oh, wait, there is some guy. Okay, there's a guy in there. And I think the rest is blank. I don't know what I'm going to do with this, to be honest. Um, so, you, could, you could put that up for auction, Colleen. That, I mean, and, that's in awesome condition. Yeah, I have no idea what to do with it. I would, yeah, I have no idea. I think the only part that's like a little, like right there is a little torn on the edge, but other than, and then a corner. Dee Dee oh, uses okay. hers for special art cards that she makes. Yeah, I just mean, put some of your, put, put some of your stuff in your, put some of your art in there, Colleen. It's a place to put some of your art. Art cards. Yeah, That's you know how Judy makes her different size art cards? And the cover is really pretty. I don't know what it is, but the cover is really pretty. I like the castle. I know. Um, the cover is gorgeous. So you can put you put art cards in here. Okay. Yeah. How, 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 how big is here. that? How big is that opening, Colleen? I have no idea what to do with it. Um uh, five and a quarter by Three and a half, or three three quarters. So five so by you three. You cut out some like f uh, five and a half by four inch papers. <laughs> well, and then, do an art on the papers, like do collages and stuff. You could do collages and stuff on five by five by four sheets, and then slide them in. That's a good idea. Make a little mat. Yeah, make a little collage, you know, do a little collage and then just slide it in and display it in there. That actually is cool in there. So there, that's, that's not a bad idea because I was just like, I was, it's really generous of her, of her to do it. And I was just like, but I don't know what I'll do with it because I, I don't collect things like that. I don't know. Actually, <laughs> a book full of all that of Megan stuff, it kind of goes with that. <laughs> little things and stuff <laughs> it kind of does doesn't it yeah four by six dd does four by six okay four by six mat and then then just maybe do little collages in it i wouldn't have thought to do that hey sophia, hey, sophia. i don't know because my thought is you had to do something old in a no, you know, no 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 or you know i don't collect i don't collect I'm no, because you nervous. don't collect. Oh, they see. Look at all the cool little little things that you've done. I'm more of a. Like there's a lot of pages in there. Yeah, I'm more of a. Uh, yeah, I mean, I buy old stuff to use, not to collect. You know what I mean? But so. see, now this is perfect because then that has your style in it. Okay. Like just a whole book of, of like stuff like that. Make the little, yes, yeah, true. These are really small, so that does fit in there. That's a good idea. And then, then you can have your little, snail. right? You can even put stuff on the outside. You know, it doesn't all have to just be there. You can decorate that whole page with stuff. What does the cover look like again, Colleen? It has a um, castle, a castle, and, a, and it's like cool, like this moon. 
in the clouds and it's by, I don't know, some water. Because so really look at, there's little houses mm -hmm. and stuff. There's yep. little houses on the cover. You could make uh, some little castles. I do have a mountain stencil we got from Lisa. I got Lisa Young got, got yeah. Lisa Young and stuff like that. And you could do, oh, I feel better about this. I have no idea. He's like, what do you do with it? <laughs> I don't know. And I then, want to, I didn't buy it. <laughs> And then see that little line underneath you could put, right, you can put words up there. You could put like a little saying down in the opening down there. Or just paste but, it over the top of it. I mean, look how cute the little snail looks on, on the outside of the. I go for the home the home top, ephemera. Thank you, get Peggy votes for ephemera. Yeah, it's an ephemera journal. Painty backgrounds on the frame. Uh -huh. Oh, that's not, I mean, you could paint this out then, you're saying. That's not a bad idea to paint the background. With a, like a, an opaque, not, not opaque, a tra something translucent, so you still see the pretty flowers through it. Oh, that's true. Like a golden acrylic, something like that. That's translucent. If you get, um, I got them at uh, Happy Paper People on YouTube, and they have a website too. I think, and now that. So then, if you, oh, I feel a lot better about this. If I, I'm just like, I hate to waste something that's that's this nice and not know what to do with it. Oh, and look at that! Look at all the people. You could do like a photo album <laughs> with all the different faces. A photo album of the people. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, perfect. Right. <laughs> That's hilarious. A photo album of, of <laughs> people. <laughs> I think that would be great. <laughs> There you That's go. Funny. And then use the other ephemera to decorate around the outside. And then go into uh, what company was that that had the little paint things that we used that had little doodads like um, uh, the round uh, brushes and all that. It was like 49 marker Stamperia, one of those. You oh, Stamperia, the, yes. And the little paint brushes or something. Yeah, the little uh, cutouts, the little yeah, die cuts. The, the little die cuts from that line. Oh, That's snarky sayings. Sophia said um, snarky sayings for each one. Snarky Oh, that, well, I would probably need help with that. Well, we might have uh, help with some. Maybe if we have her here, we could have like her elbow hanging out. Uh-huh. I feel, oh, that's fun. I didn't make all these for nothing. <laughs> I know. And it's fun. And it's, and it's yours. Like, it's not like old, like everybody decorates with old stuff. This is completely yours. That makes me feel better. Cause I'm like, I, I thought I don't buy old stuff. I really, other than, I, cause I buy it to use it and never, never buy it to collect it. So all her paper dolls fit in here. Oh, Janet's here to help with snark. <laughs> oh, you know what? We'll ha we'll have to have a snark session. That's All a good those idea. Little images and greenery and the little houses. Uh, they all the look new, great. The new oh. grandson, the new grandson is going to just love looking at those and, and ripping them out. <laughs> ripping them out. <laughs> Cassie's saying that because she knows what it's like to have a son. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm hoping to say he was a grandson, so I can say Katie whip his ass. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't have to be the discipliner. <laughs> you get to be the discipliner now. Put him in timeout. <laughs> so there you go. Oh, see, that looks cool just like that. Yes. She feels like she goes beyond the uh -huh. she goes beyond the square. So can 
So those could get, I like that. I feel much better about this per, no, uh, this freebie I want because I was like, I don't know what to do with this. Oh, and Colleen, look at look at the border. That's screaming doodle. See the border? The blank? No, yes. no. The very oh, here. Yes. That could be washi tape. That could be doodling. Oh, yes. That could be stamping. Oh, that's a good idea to yeah. do to do some doodling in there. I can. I could I always use pencil. So yeah, it's fine, just you can do a little doodling. Yeah, I mean, if you were doing that or if you were going to do, you know, whatever, vines. That's a good idea. Uh-huh. I want one now. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen people have these, but I've never knew what they did with them. Now Tom won't be afraid of it because we'll put these in it. Right. They're, they're not dead. They're not they're not they're, dead they're people. living people. <laughs> we'll, we'll put these in here and then he won't be afraid. I like the, I like this idea. And then uh and then you could uh, use everything we already own. Basically, I feel a lot better. Oh, you guys hear all that stuff laying on my table, and I'm like, how am I gonna do with this? I know it's perfect. Can you see? There you go. I can do this thing. <laughs> um, I think Johnny, I know Johnny's gotten some of those, and I think she just uses the covers and then makes journals out of them. Like she pulls this stuff out and then uses the covers for journal covers. Okay, that makes sense. If you, I don't know how you'd pull these out of here, that would be a whole nother. Oh, I guess you do the same as an old book. It does have yeah. fabric in behind it. Yeah. I, um, but that's I like, in such good shape, Colleen. You wouldn't want to tear that apart. It's in great shape. It's in really good shape. The little, everything's in great shape. The little closure, just, you still see the gold. Okay, I, I, I'd rather do that than take it apart. Oh, yeah. Oh, yay. I'm glad I came. I'm glad you guys are here to help me out because I've had this over a week going, I don't want to do this. Oh, I love okay. it. And then he's like, what is this? It's got old people in it. <laughs> it's, uh, it's old. It's right. There's old people in it. And now you'll be able, you'll <laughs> use up all your ephemera and be able to make new ephemera. Pencil, crayon, flowers. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's true. Okay, I'm excited, guys. Thank you. I'm excited now. Now, Look all, this, all that fun ephemera. All this uh, time I've spent doing these, now I have a purpose for them because I was just like, you know, I just, I'm going to do this. Oh, that's going to be fun. Auction the dead people and they'll, ne and they'll never know. <laughs> Hey Dee Dee, if you if you think of it, can you show your um can you show yeah, yours was, with the cards in it? She, yeah, I didn't know she had one. I bet she shows it when I'm still asleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Peggy's in the checkout lane. She says, please remind me where Colleen got the images. Oh, um, Megan Quinlan on Etsy. These are all her, these are all her her stencils yeah colleen I, traced them out and then painted them and literally have own i think i own all but one set i realized the other day so that went in my cart i was only one set i don't own and i even like she's green she matches i even um bought the i think the mermaid one even though i don't like mermaids but i like megan so well yeah i mean i mean i don't hate mermaids but they're not my favorite thing right right so, um, uh, yeah, so cool. So, and this was fun. And this was like something, um, was, was fun on the doll part was changing their clothes. And then I have all the white girls that have nothing on them yet because I left them blank to fill in. Yeah. So I could put the old lady over there with the old man on the other page. Oh, you could do like an American Gothic or something. <laughs> <laughs> I, it, I, I had fun 
I wonder how any of these would go too if you add it like oh any of the yeah oh the support the poor toast stuff or the yeah or toast or clutch soup any of that like, stuff um where's the poor toast the where's the one like her I wonder if you could how that would be to to add I don't know, add some of those in there. I don't know. That's a possibility is to add some of these in there. Yeah, oh, there's now that you start. Or these, or these could be these could be on the edges. Uh-huh. I mean, a couple you wouldn't have to cover the whole thing. I mean, if you want to leave some of it, but just maybe have some of these on the edges. And you could even paint out that whole border, you know, in a like cover all that the flowers and stuff up and just, you know. Yeah, you could do it in whatever color theme you have going. Yeah. Um, for that, if you wanted to do doodles, you could do like an orange or like if you're going to do her, you know, you could, I could use my watercolor. My watercolor. I wonder how this, I'll have to put some like ground, like watercolor ground down and then use that same color here. Oh, pretty. To do the edge with some like watercolor ground. Oh, I'm excited, guys. I'm excited now. That's fun. I was just like, it's just so nice of that lady to buy this and give it away. But then I was like, what am I going to do with it? Then Tom, hey, like, Darlene. Tom told me it was ghosty. And I'm like, don't freak me out. Don't do that shit. Like, don't tell me it's ghosty. Because then I'll get scared. Now, when I add all these, he will no longer be afraid. I hope not. <laughs> oh, and it's got the different sizes. That's cool. So the back too. is, and then I could, it's got this, I could use, trace this for the base and then have like, let's see, Eileen's favorite flamingo. That's not a flamingo. Oh. That's the heron. Yeah. Is that the heron? Yeah. I thought the heron was different. Okay. Here, I had a pink house, and now it's officially so those little ones that she has in her collection would work great there because there's a bunch of little ones. Oh, my goodness. You know what else you could do? The Dina transparencies in the blank ones. Oh, oh, my gosh. That's cool. I love that idea. Do you? Oh, my gosh. Dina Wakely Transparency. Do I have one you guys? Darlene says, Colleen, your deco art waxes would be gorgeous on the borders. Oh, they would. Oh, that's, oh, yeah, because they're transparent. It will. Oh, Amy said it'll be coffee table worthy <laughs> without the dead people. Oh. <laughs> dead people. <laughs> <laughs> Tom will love to keep it on the coffee table. <laughs> yeah, if you want to freak Tom out, just put it on the coffee table. <laughs> With like little Timmy people sticking out. Amy. <laughs> <It's me. laughs> the dead people in this towel. <laughs> <laughs> I know I had Tom shove all my <laughs> 70s stuff over this way. <laughs> um, I'm on it. So this this is gonna be fun. Now I feel like all of my um all my hard work uh will be shown off in here, right? Hours and hours. I was doing these in my sleep last night. <laughs> oh, it's not a heron. Herons have longer beaks. I thought it was because yeah okay where's he but it's he not a it's not a um it's not a flamingo though either he's gone there we go <laughs> <laughs> he's gone now we just have a couple mushrooms and <laughs> his little nose sticking out <laughs> <laughs> Maybe 
that's worse. <laughs> hey, Colleen, I'm going to run upstairs for a minute. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> a creepy guy behind it. That's his girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, that you can't make Heron's of. I thought, because she, I have a Heron stamp of hers. Oh my gosh. I love talking to you guys. Oh, the tears. Just gotta hang out with you guys when I feel bummed and I can just hang out with you guys and give my mind the off all this. Was that guy the only guy that the only photo that was in the there is that there's three photos in here and a man and some ladies and a oh. kid. Oh wow. Huh. So that was it. Boom. She's gone, Tom. We're good. You <laughs> said that. I was like, shut up. <laughs> But don't freak me out with that kind of stuff. Don't freak me out. So, where are the little trees? The little birdies. Oh, yeah, Darlene uh, says, Darlene's asking, is the bird a stork? I don't know. Oh, I bet it's more of a stork. She doesn't really say. I bet it's more of a stork. That Look how pretty be. that little red bird looks on there. Yeah, I can leave. I can leave her there. She's got like a little bird. <laughs> um, do I have her stamps in here? Do look. Oh no, that's just a simple. But I had her stamps in here. I know I have them. I know that. Anywho, I feel so much better. I'm so excited now. And I like the idea of the waxes. Yes. Can we leave her if we deck if we decorate her? <laughs> All righty. Well, so that was Colleen. Oh, I feel very. I, that was fun to do. You guys are always so clever. See, Dee Dee, no, I, I love love this. you for suggesting that, Dee Dee, because I was just like, I don't know what I'll do with this, but it's heavy and it's nice, you know, and it's unique. And uh, oh, Sandhill Crane. Did we decide it's a Sandhill Crane? Sandhill Crane. Might be. Might be. They've got the long legs. Also, like maybe some of these, like um, this one I'd cut out, like from the rub on <laughs> 49 Market. Oh, I have those. Um, or Barbie said. Maybe an ibis, the Egyptian bird of the dead. <laughs> oh, that's cute. So, I mean, I was just trying to, I was like, you know, I have, I have all of her stencils except for one set. And I'm like, I've got it. I got all this time on my hands. Why am I not, you know? doing something with them and look at God, look at all that stuff i would cry if you cute up that book i like oh. it it'd be it'd be mine now because it's not yeah. it, it, it style is it my is it my style i'm not um yeah if i do old stuff it would be farm stuff it would not be like victorian stuff i no. i think timmy people would look good in there Mm -hmm. You have to yeah, do a few Timmy people too. Yeah, I could do some Timmy people in here. And then also, like, I have, I did a few of these just on like white paper. I mean, you could always do these, in fact, black and white to go with Timmy people or black oh, and gray. The lady, okay, so Peggy's in the checkout line and the lady behind her has been listening. She is a crafter. <laughs> And she said, yes, to, uh, Joanne's has filed chapter 11, but some investors bought them and I heard that they're not going to close. Yeah, they're probably just Somebody reorganized. <laughs> I hope they don't close. They have the best fabrics, honestly. Like, Oh my <laughs> God, you like their fabrics? <laughs> yeah. I knew Eileen was going to say something. Yes, <laughs> I like their fabrics because I'm not a fabric snob. So, oh my God, it's always the beginning or end runs of fabric. 
you can put ATCs <laughs> in the little openings and tags for the larger openings. ATCs. Oh, that's a good idea. You could do ATCs, cut them out and into cut them out into this trace to shape and do ATC art in here. Mm -hmm. Well, that's kind of like GD's art cards. The little the little slice below the frame what, is that I, like a little pocket? I don't know what this is for? It is it like this side? Okay, here here's it. This side does not have it because it's gone, right? Someone ripped that one off. This has it. I don't know what this is for. Oh, it is, it is a Pauline, pocket. Stop, 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 stop. Dee Dee has to go. We need to open our boxes now. Okay. Yay. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Let me get my... Make something cool. All right, let's see. All right. Wow, Dee Dee, you're a good rapper. Yes, she is. is there. I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna put this one here. This is gonna be something cool and not scary, Tom. <laughs> Dee Dee's so good because I would have like found a big huge box, put it in there, did all the extra postage. <laughs> Chapter Dee Dee 11 is usually a reorganization of debt, etc. Oh, these Ooh. are nice boxes. They are nice. Ooh, aren't make they? something cool. Okay, so I'm think. Ooh, ready? It's the challenge. Well, we're gonna make with these girls. We now know what we're going to do with this album. What are we going to do with these? Dee Dee collaged hers. It came out great. I know. I saw Dee Dee collaged hers. I'm trying to think. Um, Paper doll holder. <laughs> so uh, tall. Okay. I mean, obviously, you could use it for just your pens and pencils. Like or your brushes, brushes, and pencil and holders. Oh, you, you know what I'm thinking? It, our scissors. Brushes. I'm thinking large. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I think I know. Hexi flip book. Oh, like if you undid it, I cut mm. it, and then it would like. Oh. Okay. The said that's what she did with her. She decoupaged them and using them for markers and paintbrushes. Okay. All right. So this is I I'm, this is like the kind of things I save. Okay, these are all my daughter's old paintbrushes from when she was in high school. So wow. I guess now they're vintage. So I could, do, do, I could do a vintage paintbrush holder for her stuff. Or just make them for all of my long paintbrushes. And then you could use on the outside, you could put the words vintage. You could use that typewriter stamp put on tissue. Yeah. I think um, what I might do is just do them for all brush. my long paintbrushes and I'll keep hers separate but I have a bunch of long paintbrushes and then I can keep them out and they'll look nice yeah, I do like, do, yeah vintage stamps you had I do like storage is decor see and then I could have them out Ooh. I like it thank okay. you Dee for sharing these with us and and, and Excuse me, and, and shipping these to our houses. That's really nice. Thank you Thank so you much, much. Petey. I'm already thinking. I think I've got, I'm even thinking papers already. Hold on. Hold on. Or you could cover them in fabric, right? Not necessarily this fabric, but, you know, I mean, you could cover them in fabric, too. Yeah. 
You could use napkins. I have oh, my napkins. collection of I have my collection of um, art stuff. <laughs> Another basket. But I have um, there, this is the stuff you were talking about, Colleen, the little paint brushes and stuff. Yes, that's what I was talking about. One of the and I've we got so I have this washers. fabric. I can make a seven. I have tons of this. I, I saw that Aunt Beck had bought this too. I got this on clearance at Joanne's. I think around Christmas. I don't know. No, oh, that would be great to split. I think before that it was before my surgery. But like that could be kind of cool. And I could have cover it with this fabric and have these on my desk. Okay, the 49 and Market has like paint swatch stuff. I have, um, oh, Jane Davenport tissue with paint blots all over it. That would stick easy. This, someone's paper. Let's see what's, oh, oh, here we go. Yeah, Peggy said upside down they would be great display stands. They would be great display oh. stands. Oh, here we go. Rice paper. Rice paper, yeah. Oh, art. yeah. The, the rice the art, paper. Oh, the art right rice here. paper. The antique brushes, you could use that, that rice paper right there. Oh, yep. yeah. That would be fabulous. Cut out some of the brushes and stuff. Yes. That's Atelier perfect. Des Arts. Oh. Oh, and this, look at the paint. Oh, yeah, those will look great on there. Okay. See, and this is why I wanted to wait because I wanted, when I opened it, I wanted it to be like the first thing that popped into my head. You can put watercolor pieces on stick and put them in varying shapes. Like a bouquet. Oh, ooh! You could, yeah, you could do garden. That would be that's fun. I mean, you have these on like popsicle sticks or something, and have these on there or oh, pencils Colleen. or put them on the skewers. Ooh, or on the skewers. <laughs> we only have a, <laughs> a thousand of them. They're skewers from that journal we made <laughs> from that piano. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> oh, and that's a perfect height too. They'd be these would be perfect for that. I like it. Thank you. Oh, this will be fun. Maybe we hear some more papers. Oh wow. Yeah, oh, you know what I did? I made oh, they're stickers. Oh, no, I copied them onto sticker paper. Oh, that was smart of you. Oh, so now I can just cut them out and they'll be sticky. Oh, this will be fun. Oh, I found that some more That's a good stencils. idea if you did that. And then you could use them over and over, not just one time. So you right. get better value for your money, right? Um, well, then I don't have to glue it on. And I found some stencils. Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> you could get those little battery little battery lights and put them in there to light up whatever you guys put in. Oh, then the light would come up. Oh, yeah. that's a good idea, Helen. Okay, I think what I might do, I might do one vintage painty and one just paint different paint things. Oh, the green, yeah, that's a good idea. The green floral stuff to put in oh, here from the funny. Dollar Tree and then stick the, stick the skewers in there with the people on top. That's a good idea. See, and I could do that with these old paintbrushes and make kind of like a a little centerpiece type thing. Or you do those little, um, was it, oh, how many did you paint of these? <laughs> Oh, look at I have paint splotch rub-ons. Okay. Paints. Uh, are the paint brushes that we decorated before my surgery, right? Like, 
Oh, yes. Those would yeah. be cute in there. And oh, then. Oh, yeah. But and then put the foam on the bottom so they stick out more. Yeah. And then you, yeah. And I didn't, I only made three. I have a whole bunch more of these that I did not make to put the little decorated paintbrushes in here, decorate the, the, the cup. Then you could have them staggering so they're not blocking each other. Put those in here that we made. That would be cute, Amy, to put paintbrushes and one with paint running down the side. Um, oh, paint dripping. Oh, my gosh. That would be cool. Just just so open and have paint running down them. Oh, that's a good idea. Hey, Colleen, I found more stamps, art stamps. Yes, those. Oh, with I swatches. Yes. That's all the stuff I'm thinking. They're all, it's like, it's all upstairs. <laughs> yes. Oh, and that's where all the paper and stuff is, too. Okay, cool. Very you can cool. put prompts on the back of the sticks of the people. Yeah, if you use popsicle sticks, you get the, like, the longer ones. And that could be, yeah. like, people are on the end of the prompt sticks. Yeah, they could hold prompt sticks. Oh, that's a, oh, I like all these ideas. Thank you, Dee Dee, for sending these to us and sharing. Ooh. We appreciate that she shares all her stuff. Put some of your seed packs in there. Oh, I can. Oh. Cover. Yeah, that's Put true. Put the seed packs on the skewer, Colleen. Oh, seed I packs just, on the skewer oh. and then decorate one of them for garden. That's a good idea. Do a garden and then do a paint. Paintbrush one. Garden and paintbrush. I like it. That would be two. That would be two of my hobbies right there. Gardening and and art. I love it. Okay, we'll have to decide what we're gonna do and then do it online. Yeah. It'll be fun. Yeah, we'll get it all, we'll plan it all out and so we have all our stuff and then we'll have to and then we can do it online. This will be fun. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Amy. See, this is how I like to art. Just to have somebody say, okay, do something with this. We all need a box to play along. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Order a journal and you'll get the free box. Yeah, and, then find, right. and, then, and then find something online in this shape <laughs> for, for the box. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Now, and Peggy, she probably has something like this in her stash somewhere. She probably has some, some boxes like this. I well, love now it. I want to start. Now I want to start doing the art journal. <laughs> this is what happens when I start going into all my baskets. She's like, okay, what, 70s, what was that? Yeah. <laughs> I, oh, I forgot. I do have some vintage pencils. I forgot. I bought those at consignment. I, uh, oh, I miss shopping. I so miss shopping. Okay, yeah, so this is going to be uh, one with the old paintbrushes, like this kind of theme. And yeah, then the they, other one is going to be more just different colors. And these are my vintage paints. Or pencils I found. I don't. I don't know if I'm gonna use them or not. But and again, you can do the the uh, styrofoam in the bottom just to build it up. Yeah, it needs something because they're too short. And, too. and the paint and the paint brushes were too short too. Or you do the the styrofoam and stick mm -hmm. these in them. Yeah, these were the vintage ones I got. Now, what when, kind are those? Are those the barrel? Yeah, they're it's, uh, Faber. Oh, the Faber Castell. Yeah, but it was called um, E. Oh, shit. I can't read it. E with my glasses. How's Here, put it up. If I see it, I might know what it is. My camera will. E F is like Eber Eber. Oh, Farber. Eber Farber or something. Farber. <laughs> oh, Edmund Farber. Edmund Farber. Edmund Faber. He's the Faber and Faber Castell. Yes, I looked it up. 
Because I saw these and I'm like, I wonder if these are these are vintage or not. And I'm like, I'm just gonna get them and wait till I get, and then look when I get home. And they were. This was like, uh, I can't remember the fact. I found like the factory where these were made and stuff like that when I was online looking and totally forgot everything I found, but. They're the same colors. It's two packs of the same colors, but you know, when you know, find like vintage pencils in a consignment store, usually it's house stuff, not art stuff. Maybe what I'll do is I'll make this and then I'll give it to my daughter since these are all her old paint brushes. That's cool. Oh. To put in her art room. That's a good idea. Her, her wheels are turning. I know. Let me grab my front book. She did not clean her brushes. Very fun. That's what makes them vintage. <laughs> no, but she was like, okay, so these are... We did not do the prompts yet. No, we haven't done the prompts. Okay, we've, been so... on, we've been on rabbit trails, but that's a good rabbit trail because now I know what to do with my book. <laughs> okay, so, so these are 20, I'm these excited. are 25 years old. That's vintage, right? 25 years I old? Say, I would say so. I would say they are. Okay. I mean, they're really vintage. So, very antiques. And you know, I still have some of her old Liquitex from high school that I still use that's still good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank that's you. That's good. Now, I don't have any of her tissue with that group. I have tissue with tissue. Oh, um, I. I think what I did was I went through and just pulled out any art stuff. I went through my the art room and pulled any art looking stuff and put it in here. Not a bad idea. Because there's I've got a whole bunch of um oh I even have like like Daphne's diary stuff. Oh art the things art things from that. Oh cool. Yeah. Yeah, these very organized. Um, yeah, I'm really organized till I'm not. You know what I mean? <laughs> I like getting it all organized, and it takes me like two minutes for it all to be unorganized. Oh, yeah, color swatches. Oh, yeah, because I was going to keep all my color swatches in that binder. Hmm. Oh, look at this. This is kind of fun. The girl and the flower. Oh, that's Isn't a cute, cute one. Isn't that cute? That's from Daphne's Diary. I don't, there's no date, though. Okay, let me put this stuff away. Otherwise, I'll be here all day. All right. Okay, that's right. We have, we have to do our prompts, don't we? Yes. Okay, Sherry's on it. Have you done the prompts? <laughs> Sherry's ready. You ready? All right, hold on. All right, let me just get these out of the way. I don't want to break anything. Okay. What? All right, here we go. So color, it's whatever I open to. Yellow. Because we've done all the colors. Okay. Yellow. Okay. 
Uh, let's skip gouache because I don't have gouache down here. Okay. You know that will. Oh, what page? Eighty-eight. I don't have paper clips, but I do have binder clips. You don't have paper clips down here, nah. Oh, <laughs> that's right. You're not used to binder clip. I'll use a binder clip. Oh. Draw Wait, paper what page clip. is it on, Kate? What page is it on? 177. Oh, 177. I thought you said something else. No, I said gouache was a couple pages back, but I don't have that down here. Okay. Nope, paper clip. We haven't done it. Use a paper clip to hold, an ex to hold extra ephemera in your art journal. Draw paper clips all over the page. Attach embellishments to a paper clip to keep in your journal. Okay, so you can you, you can, there's stuff you can do. And if you want to, you could do that paper clip technique that Helen did with the papers and stuff like to put up top to decorate it once. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The hidden ones. All right. If you made any of those, you could actually you might have one already made. You can pop on there. Okay. What's the date today? The 19th. 19th. All right. Let's see. Heavy. Paint over tape. Soft. Make a pocket and put a tag in it. Did we do? Okay. Um, I got fabric down here. I can make okay. a box. All right. So 319. Make a pocket. Wait a minute. Oh, we did that. Oh, we did it. Okay. July 4th. I probably wasn't here then. Okay. How about watermelon on the three? That's what we didn't do. Small. Okay. We can do small. And then I also, do, did we do watermelon? It's on 327. Do the watermelon crawl. That's a totally <laughs> old, I like that country song. Okay. I don't think we did watermelon. It doesn't, doesn't sound. 327. No. Okay. So watermelon. And then do you want to do small? Yeah. Small and then watermelon. And then what page was small on? 301. 301. So small says use small marks all over the page. Illustrate a memory from when you were small. Cover the page with drawings of small things, ladybugs, buttons, seashells, coins, paper clips. Paper clips. Oh, oh wow. wow. Who put salt on their watermelon? I do. It's the only way I can eat it. Really? And I, and I still don't like it that much. Even with salt. Yeah, watermelon is my least favorite. My dad yeah. eats so much watermelon and I'm just... It's so blah. Love watermelon. So plain. <laughs> it's, Kimberly's it's, not spicy, it's not spicy enough. Kimberly's <laughs> off to find a small watermelon. Okay, and for watermelon, it says draw watermelons all over the page. Use watermelon colors, red, green, with bits of black and white. Colleen, get a whole watermelon, drill a hole in it, and put a bottle of vodka in it. Mm. Let it sit, and then eat the watermelon. Yummy, Eileen. Never heard of that. Yep. Really? Oh, I've, never. Never of, I've never heard of putting salt on watermelon. But <laughs> <laughs> she's part of putting vodka in watermelon. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> well, watermelon shots. Oh, I used to love watermelon shots. Never heard of that either. Oh wow. I don't drink. I mean, so no. Makes sense. Oh, my kids. I wonder if my kids have heard of that. Oh. I would say my oldest, not my youngest. She doesn't drink either. She, she's like me. She doesn't like the taste. Well, Anina, get all comfy and just lurk. And maybe you'll hopefully you feel better. Aw. 
Nothing worse than a ugh. headache all day. Sorry, Ania. Oh, that's oh, that's miserable. It happens to me like if the sometimes when the weather changes, it gets, yeah, yeah, you get the, It's almost like a barom like the barometer drops, and then. But we're you glad you're here. Yes, we are. Okay, let me. Oh, real quick, I did get one more thing. Okay. I, mean, I got the stamp. I got the bunny stamp. Oh, you did. I did yeah. get the bunny stamp, and then I had gotten these from Johnny, which is all kinds of Easter stuff. And then I just saw this on Amazon and thought it was cool before I had gotten any of it. So I can do some Easter pages. Cool. Oh, oh. cute. Yeah. Is that poor toast? Is that what? Poor toast? No, it's just uh, scrapbook paper. Oh, scrapbook paper. Oh. Yeah, it just it, it's a book with scrapbook paper. I don't know who makes it, but I get, it was on Amazon. Made that's in the USA. February 2024. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, so I'll do something fun. Because I who doesn't love bunnies? Oh, oh, Have you used it. the Mr. Robin stamp? I will. I haven't that's used a, it yet. That's a nice stamp. I love the stamp. And I like, I love the stamp. And then I like the other stamps that come with it. Yes. And good uh, background stamps and stuff like that. It is in cutesy, which is nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no offense, Colleen. <laughs> no offense to all my paper dolls. <laughs> no, they're cool. Your paper dolls are cool. Thanks. I do. I have fun. Because these are, I mean, these aren't cutesy either. Like the stuff in here. They're cute, but not cutesy. You know what I mean? All right. Yeah. So anyway, I knew there was one more it be, thing. Oh, it's vintage cute. Okay, Eileen. Uh, it's order. As sort long of. as it's not cutesy. Right. <laughs> this jacket. Okay, I need to get an envelope. Oh, my dog really. Oh, maybe he chased one around the whole yard. Okay, so I'm walking, walking Ziggy. We walked right past a bunny, and he never saw it. But then again, <laughs> I think he was too busy trying to eat all the worms that were on the sidewalk. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's in their breed to even kid. That that's more in Jack Russell. They they'll spot a rabbit. That's kind of the where they're bred to do that. Oh, they oh they they will go after them, but I won't let them. I mean, I yell at them and they stop. I won't let them hurt them. Oh yeah, I spent the whole time pulling them up so we wouldn't eat because. I guess when the weather starts, when the ground warms up, all the worms come up. They were just all over the sidewalk. Wow. They couldn't get rid of them. Like they couldn't go anywhere where they weren't where there. So it was it was a quick walk. All right, I need a brown marker. I'm gonna mute and get some tea. Okay, Helen. He only got one. He's lucky he got one. They're fast. Let's see. Small oh. paper clip and yellow. I might have a yellow paper clip. That's not bad. Let's see. Oh, paper clips. How do you have paper clips? I is that yeah, I just have like those kind of clips down here. I don't unless I have something paper clip that I brought down that would be the extent of it. I 
have my vintage paper clips here. This is not a seedless watermelon. <laughs> okay, so I do have yellow. <laughs> Hi, baby. You know we talking about doggies. Did you hear me talking about Jack Russells? You heard me. You heard me. Yeah, I was talking about you. Talking about you. He came in. He's like, you talking about me? <laughs> me? And that, me? Pup, that puppy that Lori got is cute. Oh, he's adorable. Is it he or she? I think it's a she. She's cute. All right, so I have a couple of yellow. I have orange. I wish I had. I don't have any yellow ones of these. All right. Put these here. I think what I'm going to do for small. Here. All right, I have a small yellow paper clip. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Meant to be. All right. Awesome. All right. Okay. Oh, I did have watermelon scrapbook paper at one time. Ooh, I don't know if I could find it so quick. Does anybody remember that oh, my goodness. watermelon candy yeah. used to come in long strips? Uh, no. I think it had. Oh, you found, you remembered it and you found it. Look at you. But you know what? It just happened to go, the, it, it was popping up so I could see the watermelons. That's awesome, though. I can, I don't know, like, if I could remember the specific paper I have. You so know I what, though? Because I had just used it. I just used it. I had used it recently with my Frida, with my Frida stuff. Oh, okay. Well, not recently, but in the past couple of years. So, anybody like the new Forty Nine and Market uh, papers? Is that the black, the turquoise? The black and turquoise? With the black and white, or yeah, the charcoal or whatever it's called. Ooh, I didn't see that one. I did. I just got the bag and the tape. I didn't buy. I didn't buy the whole gammon gamma of stuff because I wasn't sure how much I would use it. The bag is cute, and I was like, I like the. I'm, you know, I like having like those cloth bags like that. They're just, they're just nice. Here's my regular paintbrushes. Make sure I don't grab a. And I've been using watercolor, make sure I didn't grab that. Okay. Oh, Kathleen remembers the watermelon candy. Oh, Jolly Ranchers? No, it was long strips, and I think it was made out of coconut or something. Oh, it sounds good. Coconut. Um, I did like some coconut candy that was striped. It was um, a long strip. It looked like watermelon. It certainly wasn't watermelon. Oh, I, I mean, it's like thick too, right? Huh? It was it thick? No, it uh, was a thin strip. Hmm. Cracker Barrel, I thought you used to carry some sort of coconut. Stripey 
candy he used to like. He's got diabetes. He can't eat that stuff anymore. But Kathleen said it was sugar coated. All right. Sugar coated. Yeah. That's a pretty yellow, Colleen. Oh, nice. that is pretty. It's soft. Yeah. Yeah, it's soft yellow. It's uh, from Target. It's called Fresh Squeeze Lemonade Satin. Ooh. Yeah, I like that their paint is satin. All of it is. All right, now. Yeah, man, don't dry this. I'm always warping my. <laughs> always warping that. Okay, baby, why? Okay, I'm gonna put the watermelon here, I think, and then. I got to decide small and what to put in the paper clip. Janice said, Colleen is talking about the Neapolitan coconut candy by Brock. That's it. Janice, thank you. <laughs> I'm like, I know this exists because my dad used to love the, I get him that on his birthday and Father's Day and that, you know, with his gift and then, you know, can't eat it now. He loved that. He loved it. I'm glad you remember. Thank you, Janice. Eileen fake me sound like I'm crazy. <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry this existed. They used to have to go to Cracker Barrel to get it because it, it was considered a, you know, quote unquote, you know, old fashioned candy, you know, so. I should just paint the whole bag. Yes, Sophia, watermelon is a prompt. It's yellow, paperclip, watermelon, and small. Oh, I need to write those down. Did Dar put those in the chat? Yes, she did. Oh, can you put that on the screen? Hell, I think you can do that here. If I can find it. Let's see. So you got your heat on, Eileen? Is it 60? She said it went from 90 to 60. It did. Oh, for her, for us, it went, yeah. from, it went from 70 down to like 35. Oh, wow. That's yep. crazy. That's way worse. Oh, that's like our temperatures here. Oh. That's that's dramatic to your body. Yeah, I had to take in a few plants, a few sensitive plants that I had put out thinking it was, you know, safe and Thank you again. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep, Mother Nature had a different idea. Yes, yeah, she did. You have a watermelon sticker somewhere and scrapping supplies, but I would never use it on a layout. I'm sure Amy Tan had it in my collection. Oh, yeah. Amy Tangerine. That's what yeah, I like. She kinda, yeah, she kind of does stuff like that, like little, cute little stuff. Bye, Amy. Bye, Amy. Take care. Bye, Amy. Oh, she got that too, 70 to 80 down to 30 or 40s. Oh, man. That's rough. Okay, I was doing the same thing, looking through scrapbook stickers. All right, he's yellow. I found, oh, oh here, here we go.
Ooh, these are old stickers. They're not going to stick anymore. Can't get them off. Uh-oh. Let's see if I can use that. Thing. I'll put a, a oh, bird on it. I use one of these little birds. And let's see. Little. Okay, so here's a little, a little yellow guy. Here, let's do, let's do this. All right. Little yellow guy. Leaving ye little yellow footprints. Oh, <laughs> little yellow footprints. Oh, that's cute. There. And my little yellow paper clip. I need to find, what could I, I need to find something to clip on here. Hmm. <laughs> Did Eileen say if she liked the four, new 49 in market paper? She did say she liked it. Yeah. Okay. I know what I'm going to do. All right. Let's do, let's do this. Small. I'll put these little <laughs> those cute yeah it's like your yellow yep and they're small uh, I do for and what uh, and I was thinking he would be kind of cute ah uh, okay here we go Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Get a little scissors out. Oh, here. Okay. All right. Here's, I'm going to do a, a quote about small. When in doubt, just take the next small step.
Oh, I like that. I'm not trying to cut off his leg. <laughs> okay, this guy's cute. Oh yeah, that's that is cute. <laughs> he's cute. Right. Oh, he's got to do watermelons, but I like him. All right. Paper clip, small watermelon. I'm gonna put that there. Okay. No idea. I probably have a yellow paper clip somewhere upstairs, no doubt. I should put that up. Tammy loves that quote, Kathy. It's it's I like it too. I just just popped up there. I just Googled small quotes or quotes about being small. And it goes with the little feet. Yes. Oh, when that happens. Let's see. Okay. I have a clip. It's not. Let me think here. What if I could? Yeah. Okay, hang off the clip. Let me think. I need to hang something off the clip. I don't know where the clip falls into place, but it's a clip. Okay. Oh, all right. Here we go with that. All right, I'm done. Oh, where's my paper clip here? This should be fairly, I think it's fairly easy. So at least this is the easy one. This was a fun one. Yeah, so this is a low, like non-stress, easy. It I just think, came easy. together. Yeah. All right, let me trim this. Terry's posted hers. Oh, okay, I was just gonna say, anybody post yet? So I think this is a quick one. All right. Aw, cute. That's real pretty, Terry. Oh, I like the rainbow. I do too. Here, yeah. let, me, um, let me put the ticker tape. She's got the little bug. <laughs> oh, it's cute, Terry. And the little worm. Okay, that works. See. 
Okay, child paper clip. Something like that. That might work. And yeah, draw a paper clip. Okay, wait a minute here. Oh, yeah, it helps if my keyboard's on. Did Ann say what she was doing on her show tomorrow? Does anybody know? Oh, I don't know. What are you doing, Ann? And we haven't seen Devin. Devin is on vacation. Oh, and wow. I think she was going to do a premiere, so it's pre recorded. Oh, okay. But I'm not. That's what she had said before. Yeah, she did. Okay. <laughs> She's in. She was in Fort Lauderdale. Okay. Hello. Oops. Yes, Terry, I did spot it. Did Sherry finish? Nope, not yet. Uh-oh. Oh, Terry beat Sherry. Yep. <laughs> Carry your little, uh, like, I don't, even, I'm not sure what you call it, but the little line art that you've been doing is really nice. Oh, I know, I love that. Oh, I don't yeah. know, what the, I don't know what the term is for that, but yeah, really it's nice. cool. It's I've like been, uh, I see it on IG. I don't know if it's like Zen tangling or. Oh, Anne is going to start her Roaring Twenties journal. Oh, so you are going to do the flapper thing. There's Terry's um, Zen Doodle. I, I think that's, I don't know if it's a... It's like, it's there's Zen Tangle in there. It's like Zen Tangle and... Yeah. It's you call it pattern. doodling. Okay, because I was, I don't want to misquote. Like, I, I, I'm not sure what it's, if that's a We're style doodling. or... Love They're so it. beautiful. Look at that. Very pretty. Oh, yeah. There's lots you could do. Roaring 20s, Art Deco, Flappers. That's That'll be a fun journal. Oh, that's what she's going to work on tomorrow? Is that what she yeah. said? Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, I like the little smiley face hand up there. That's cute, isn't it? Katie's still debating on names. Okay, so what? There has to be contenders. Are there any contenders? There's. I think for her, like whatever she likes, he doesn't like, and what he likes, she doesn't like. Right now, like there's there's a couple contenders right now, so we'll see. If they stick. Frederick was one of them. Oh, Freddy. Didn't call him Freddy. That was one of them. I like that one. Okay. All the ones I mentioned she didn't like because she said they were too country. <laughs> <laughs> Freddy's cute though. She said too country. Wait, Luke, it's country? Oh, Logan. I think that was one. Oh, Logan, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah I like Logan, that. Frederick. Um, I can't remember any other ones now. So basically, they keep shooting each other's ideas down. So that that that's where they sound like Tom and I. Never agreeing on certain, <laughs> certain things. You just agree to disagree. All the day. <laughs> we, I agree to disagree with you. All right. All right. I made a paper, paper clip since I didn't have any down. Oh, cute. So, All you right. have yellow, you have your paper clip. And then I have the little frog for my small. He's kind of small. Where's the frog? Oh. Oh, oh. cute. 
I like it. All right. Not bad. I'll take it. Yeah, and these were the good ones. We didn't see Lynette's from last week. She posted it after the show. Oh, Here let's see. Yeah, if there's anything else you want to show. Hey, girl. Oh, that's <laughs> that one I love. <laughs> that, I mean, I don't know where she gets her images, but they are wonderful. <laughs> Silver fabric candy and cheer. Oh, wouldn't you? Oh, I'd love to dive into that pastry. <laughs> and it's a guy. It's a guy on it's the diving board. <laughs> that one's cute. Love it. All right. Watermelon. Small. Yellow paper clip. All right. Check. All right. I get yeah. maybe Sherry's out. Sherry also might be home. She may be out somewhere. Oh, wait. Sherry posted hers. She did? Okay, let me grab it. Yeah. Oh, um, what did this come with? I'm trying to think if this came with this came with something I bought and I thought was funny. Oh, scrapbook.com. Look, I'm creative. You cannot expect me to clean the house, too. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> oh, Sherry, Aww. that's cute. Aww. That is cute. Oh, what is Your this? greatest strength is love. That's what it says on the back of the little teeth. Oh, oh, that's cute. I like how you dangled the tea tag. And he has nice, a little Sherry. Sherry. water around. I like it. And then she's got it holding on with the paper clip. Oh. Very cute. Okay. So now, shall we start on the 70s? See, see what we can get done. Yeah, Let's let's, I'm going to start pulling stuff we'll just, out. We'll just get a little... Since we got sidetracked, I'm okay with sidetracks because that was fun too. No, this was fun ideas. today. We could because I'm debating because I've got that make something cool. <laughs> what are I can't remember, Colleen. What are you using for the journal part? The folders. The folders. That's right. That's okay. right. Okay. And I do have my folders. <laughs> And I could use that, but then I was thinking maybe doing some 70s stuff in my, that blue jean journal of uh, Prima. Oh, that, that's perfect. I can pull that out. I wonder, I'm thinking about taking the stuff out that I put in it. Yeah, because they're pretty stuffed. So I thought about taking some of the items I put in there out of there. Colleen. Yeah. Just for your information. Your chip paper is in, and Michelle's invoicing for it. Oh, okay. Thank you. I just got a notice. I thought I'd tell you. Did you get some, Eileen? It's what kind of paper is it? It's uh, our friend Taylor made journal paper. Oh, okay. I got some of her stamps and they are really nice. Now, did is she selling through Joggles also? I don't know. I I've, I've been buying it th through Michelle. Okay, and that I knew she was selling through Michelle, but I was looking I don't remember. It was somebody who sent me an email. I for some reason I think it may have been Joggles and I thought I saw it's Taylor made there. It was one it of the companies, be. I think. It could be. The stamps are really nice. Yeah, she's um she does some nice stuff. Now does she have she what does she have a website? Kathy uh, Joggles is Joggles has got it on their website. I think she oh, has okay. an Etsy store. Okay, she has an Etsy store. Joggles does have tailor made on their 
She's selling through Taylor Made too, and Michelle. Okay. And I'm sure other places. Yeah. Michelle's going to be selling this weekend. On Saturday, Eileen? Sunday. So I pulled out. I have my stamps. Okay. Here, I'm going to put us just wide for a little bit. Okay. I'll make rid of this these pencils. mushrooms okay so i had this wasn't intended to be the 70s journal but it's like this is like what you're doing right the robin marie yes and i could Colleen has a new uh, stamping team. What is the journal magazine? How is that? Oh, the art journal magazine? Yeah. It just, oh, that was something that came. Did yours come, Colleen? Yeah, mine came the other day. How mm -hmm. is it? The girl, the girl in here uh, that made the. She mentioned that she was inspired by a art journaling magazine from 2016. Oh, you've got it. Okay. And she mentioned the um, the artist in the 2016 issue that inspired her. Let's see. Oh, that's nice. Here, let me put you big so we can see it. I made you, you know what? I'm, I might do a bunny page in here since I already, this was kind of a spring one. I use a new rabbit stamp. Yeah, I will. I will. I think that's what I'll do. And then I've got to figure out what I'm going to do for my my 70s journal. Hold on. He looks so cute with a pair of glasses on him. <laughs> he would. Here it is. He said. Huh? Um, oh, okay. Let me read it. So she, okay. so she basically worked on this, she said, after a major surgery. So she was talking about how art, you know, how art is. So if you are, you know, if you love doing art, it's very therapeutic to get through. Hey, what get page is that on, Colleen? Uh, page 118. And I'm trying to find where she mentioned the year and the artist. Here it is. I ran across a artist paper studio. Oh, Somerset Studio. Somerset Studio artist paper. And it was a coloring book page from its sister magazine, The Coloring Studio. I have those too. I fell in love with it. Tall characters in his journal were influenced by Mary Chamberlain's illustration in the summer 2016 issue of the color studio. I kept the face, I kept the characters' faces featureless, but did not add indication of a chin as it made it seem more human-like. I gave it a colorful outfits that kept their simple adding paint and splatters in a simic writing and completed the look. And mm -hmm. There, so she made her own, basically, like her own paper dolls. Aren't they cute? They are. They, um, it's Marie Aguirre Kosick. And then she has some other art, too, like girl faces and stuff that isn't the paper dolls. It looks like she made, like, some dogs, too. Oh, these are cute. And I love this. I love this one. This is a great 70s to me. Like, look at the, the scrap oh. of paper. That, that would be fun. That would be fun to do. That would be fun to do in the journal. 
Yeah. And, and this then, one, yeah. you could do these. And this one is like farm like too. Yes. And looks like she used some washi tape and she, you cut out a heart, but use the outside of it, put a little bird cage in there. Um, this one she, she did. This reminds me of more like a Dina Wakely. Uh, yeah, these are probably, this might be Diane Reasley's um, mask and stencils. I think yeah, I feel like that was. I feel like that was use the jelly plate. Yeah. And it's like her version of paper dolls. These are really cool. Yeah. So I really like So I can see why this one made the cover. I mean, yeah, why she this one made the cover. And she used a little um, die cut behind it, which I think, yeah, she did the jelly plating on the this side of it and then added the solid paper and he used to stand out amongst that. And then I love the little die cut she used. Is that at the cover one, I think, is that's burlap in the background. Yeah, it looks like she, yeah, it's right here. Um, what did she use, Diane? Oh, Scott. Our journaling took her mind off of the healing process. Oh. Um, well, we know how that is. Yeah, we do. Tammy, too. Look at that. It is a good, it is a fun thing to have to do something like that when you're going yeah. through a healing. Yeah, it's something fun. Something fun to think about. Happy thoughts. Yeah, there's some good ones in here. This, this one. I also like this girl. Um, who is this? Oh, oh ah. Gina Walker. Uh, the <laughs> stuff. Of course, I like it. Tina Walker. Oh yeah. Oh, I, she has the best stuff. Um, she's, in a, she's in a lot of the art journaling magazines. When I go back through, this one was good too. There's some good ones in this one. Amber Walker. I love this one. Okay, and the first one is Michelle Kasolik, who is the art journal teacher at Scrappy Chic. She did a tag journal. Oh. Yeah, so there's a there's a lot of good good people in here. I don't know if I follow her or not, but I love this one. This is like a uh more like a junk journal. And then, then there's a lot of faces in here. I love those. Yeah, there yeah. I think there's lots of good stuff in this issue. Yeah, a lot of good stuff. I like, I mean, I really like a lot of the I art. Love that. Of I love that one. Who did that? Um, I can't pronounce it. Fatma Tazi. Her taste. So she likes, she does the backgrounds and then adds, you know, uh, images from magazines or books on top of it. Oh, I even like this Brave. See the Brave? Yes, that is, that is, oh, Tina Walker, <laughs> 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 of course, that's really cool. But yeah, this, I think this one's pack cool. This one has a file, some file folder art. Oh, Tina okay. has some paper gel like things too. So yeah, I think that I would say by far like this one is um, a really good issue. It's a lot of inspiration in this one. Oh, well, here you go, Colleen. This is also '70s type stuff with the flowers. Here, I'll put us back yeah. up again. Yeah, I gotta get back into my. So back into my 70s thing. We're going to pretend it's, we're going to pretend it's not cold outside. <laughs> oh, Tammy's husband is bringing her that magazine to the hospital today with her re-edition magazine so that she can do some fussy cutting. Oh, oh isn't he fun. the sweetest? That's nice. Oh, you, that's fun, Tammy. This is chock full of stuff this art journaling and the yeah, 
You'll just You'll, spend hours looking through Yeah, it. some of them are better than others, but I really love the, and I love she wrote on the skirt. I mean, I would definitely want to try, I want to make these paper dolls. I want yeah, to make these are cute. And I think you they're simple enough. You could draw all these yourself. And I like the idea of using um, scrapbook paper for the clothes, at least like that one for the pants. Oh, that's cute. Or you could draw, like you could paint little flowers on there. You could too. paint the flowers too. I mean, I definitely was inspired to make some dolls like that. All right. I'm going to do a quick flip of this. Too. All right. So this started, I must just, I think I started this in the spring because it was more spring like stuff in here. But it could really, it could be spring. I could do 70s. I can do Easter stuff in here. About how long ago was it, Kathy, when you started it? When did we do this, Colleen? A, a few years ago. I think it was in the warm months in summer. I think, yeah, a summer, or spring. It was, it was a few years ago. I'll have to check. I'll, you know what? I'll need to check in my phone and see if I took any pictures of stuff in here. Is the cover one of those file folders with the clip on the? Yes, the cover is one of these. And then, okay, so it starts out, it's one of these file folders that's basic. And then I added, um, I added other file folders to it to sew in. So I did, you know, like these flip flop folders and then I have another just, you know, cardstock folder. I've got another one of these, I think, that I might be sticking in here was the plan. And then some of the uh, these little pockets that we got from, oh, my God, how did we get the pockets from Eileen? So I have these were the pockets, and then these were the things that I ordered the wrong thing of. And cut the bottom so they're they're flaps. Flaps. I forget who we got them from. Oh, her! I can picture her. Oh, I'll think of it. So yes, yeah, so this Aaron. was the, that was an Aaron. Yes, it was Aaron. It, it was. Oh, okay. It was Aaron. Hey, Lisa. Um, so yeah, so it starts out just basic, just basic folders. I still don't know how she got the. The backwards ones. I know. I don't know how she got the backwards ones. Hi, Lisa. Okay, so then. Aaron. Yeah. Yeah, we figured. We yeah, we saw that. Oh, you saw uh, that. Sorry, I was focusing on what I was. Okay. You did. Oh, because we were just talking about it. Well, I also bumped my toe, so I was kind of having a little moment of my oh. own. I found that pen again. Oh, Ooh, I, hate I can't wait to get this pen out. This I'm having, I was out. having a little moment of, oh my, that hurt. Ooh, take a deep breath. Yeah, that was okay. one of So anyway, so here it is to repeat Ooh. itself again. It started out as just a bunch of different file folders that we used for signatures and then went through like magazines. We took paper, just, you know, different kinds of paper and ledger pages and just sewed those into the, into the file folder. And then um, here's another, here's an Easter page I started. This could be Colleen and I did this on stream, the paintbrush. I stuck that in here. Oh, yeah, the paintbrush we did. That was Yeah, fun. I did the paintbrush in mine. Um, just different scrapbook papers, collage papers. Make an Advil just to get ahead of it. Stuff from the Katie Daisy book. Jeans from, oh, yeah, these were jeans from Daphne's Diary. And then I wrote the words to David Bowie's song, Blue Jean, in here. Oh, that's a good idea. And then I had a little pocket, and I put her in here. Made that out of an envelope. 
Lisa, before I forget, when is your sale? Oh, I like the blue jean page. I don't, that's one of my favorite pages. One of my faves. Other side of the envelope, another envelope here, little pockets, scrapbook papers, vintage book pages, ledger pages. I think this I was going to put here, maybe. You guys going to fussy cut this. Scrapbook paper. Thanks, Lisa. Do you know? Okay, next. Okay, Lisa's sale Wednesday at 6 p.m. Dina Wakely. Yeah, this must have been spring because then I went through and found any kind of like flowery stuff. Wednesday. Um, next Wednesday at 6. Okay, not this Wednesday. Okay. Okay, so these are, let me show you. These are those plastic envelopes we got. The Colleen got the wrong size. Yeah, so now we both have two different sizes. The other size worked for something else. And then this was another one. This was the original Aaron folder. That was actually a folder that I used. These are Pamela Gillespie or Lisa Young. I think Pamela Gillespie. Just to decorate them with vintage papers and stuff like that. And then what I did was I just punched two holes right up here and then fit them in the little tabs that are on the file folder. So you got a little pocket for this and then you can see it. All right, I put you in my, on my phone so I won't forget. Okay. Aw, oh, little lammies. What is the new stuff that uh, Diane Reevesley has out? I was looking at that, Eileen, because it's in that magazine. Is it, um, she calls it diamonds, but is it um, embossing powder? I think it's embossing I think powder. It's embossing powder and paint, but I'm not sure. I think it's embossing powder in her paint colors. You know how she know. has like, it's like glittery paint or something? Yeah, Maddie was selling those. I, Oh, there's also paint that goes with it, too? Yeah, paint and embossing. Yeah. Because I thought the embossing powders look kind of cool. Just because they were in her colors, you know, that they're different. Yeah. Okay, and this is the one I had when Kathy Arbor was doing the file folder stuff. I took the one of the folders. I did the monthly file folders. This was April, and I sewed it in here. I know hey, I everybody this. that just came in, do you believe Kathy actually used her sewing machine? <laughs> <laughs> so no. after using it that much, Kathy, do you feel more comfortable with it? I do. I do. After when I did it at Ingrid's, I'm like, okay, I'm going to do this. And like, I, I watched Ingrid, like, see how she pulled the thread. I'm like, okay, I, I can do this. So I don't feel like I'm going to break it. My next big thing, though, is the bobbin. The bobbin is the easiest thing to put in. <laughs> and that's, what I struggle with that's it. where I screwed it up the last time. The as bobbin soon as you got it, put it in the right way. So you just pop it in there? Yeah, and then you put the needle down. Pull the thread up and have it up with this uh, top thread. Okay. I'll do it. And hold on to it, both of them, when you start sewing. Right. So does and, the... And you've, you've, your, your thread is, is supposed to be going away from you. It right? yes. I mean, and it depends on your sewing machine. Okay. Okay. The ones I've been using at Ingrid's and mine, it goes away. But there are some that may uh, go towards you. Right. It depends on your machine. Or I guess which way you have it turned. Yeah, Kimberly, she's a pro now. Yeah, I'm I'm talking sewing machines now. <laughs> <laughs> ask, her, ask her what she is going to Joey's to buy. 
sequins, not yeah. sequence, sequins. That's <laughs> so funny. I'm like, wait a minute, that's a game. <laughs> okay, so I was typing fast and I'm like, I wasn't thinking. So instead of sequins, I was typing sequence. I'm going to go buy some sequins. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, I think it's like, what the hell's that? Oh, <laughs> uh, it's funny. So yeah, so we use like grit paper, this kind of paper, just to, you know, all kinds of sheets of paper, and then pictures from. I did pictures from magazines, just stuff. It's all kinds of eph ephemera. Do you remember you had me buy the the uh, sticker, retro sticker thing? Oh, I forgot about that here. Yeah, yeah. We okay, so this is all done. Oh, and I used Timmy tape too. I mostly sewed the signatures in, but then I did use Timmy tape to put one of the binders in and it holds it really well, or one of the file folders. Here. Yeah, with uh, the stickers. I forgot about those. Okay, let me move my. Yeah, it has the little. Um, I don't like that one. Uh, I guess coded, coded pages, and then you got like a color form. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it has the stickers in here. There's like more like 50s. Oh, that's perfect. I'll have to pull those out. Let me There's write that like down. a 50 kitchen. And then uh, back here, I just pulled out the 70s one with the bus. And then these were the stickers that went with it. Like this cute little. Perfect. Yeah, those were, that was on Amazon, right? Yeah. Oh, there's my bunny stuff here. Yeah, with the roller skate, free bird, free bird. I knew that song. I love uh, the bus. I think it was a bus that caught my eye. I think it was the bus. It had to have been the bus because the bus is so cute. I'm going to pull this. There is also, is there a sunken living room in here? Wait a minute. Yeah. Where's that at? Here it is. The sunken living room. Yeah. Oh, with all the carpet. Ooh. Very 70s. And then this goes with the sunken living room. You have guitar. You got the little... Oh, I have one of those. I can't think of what they're called. Oh, the Rattan. Uh, and chair. I got mine at Pier 1. And they yep. were still in business. Let's see. Uh, then, you make, then you make a little scene on these. And then you, put them, you can put them in your book. Oh, uh, Sophia. Sophia you'll have to, go ahead, Helen. Look, they're, little, they're little color forms. Sophia's working in her wild book. She's got her table covered with magazine pages and bits, and she's try, trying hard to choose an image to go in. Yay, Sophia! Yay, that's exciting. Definitely post when you finish or do a whip work in progress. Yes, and she did a flip of that book. It looked fantastic. It's gorgeous. Did you see it, Kelly? She did a flip on IG. Did she do it on Facebook too? Yes, she did. Oh, it's okay. a really I nice did. book. It was. So you've got Forest, Wild, and Naturalia that Jane is using. All time. Yes, yeah. I was glad she showed a flip of that. Because it's hard when you, you know, you buy, you know, someone's got to take the chance to like to like, you know, buy it and take a chance with that, you know, like you might see some pictures, but not a lot of pictures and. Okay. I'm going, I think I'm going to do a couple, a couple different pages with that stamp. Okay. 
I think what I might do is just stamp it and then use the Tim pencils. Are they pencils or crayons? Pencils. What color are you stamping Watercolor. It? Watercolor. Now, what color are you stamping it? I think I'm going to stamp it black and then do the watercolor over it. Or, sh hmm. How about his new brown color? What's that called? Oh, yes. What is that called? Timber something? Um, uh, timber. Scorch, scorch timber? Yeah. Because this, you know what, the scorched timber will look nice on the ledger paper. Yeah, so I think it's kind so. of creamy yellow. I gotta have fun with this. Okay, so I'm gonna leave these out and I'll play right. those later. Okay, I found looking through some of my stencils. Oh, yeah, I picked some random stuff up later. Um, scrapbook.com, I picked up like these the, the Red Pro flower stencil. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool stencil. A simple stories. And then I found uh, some rub-ons that were called Retro Garden. I bought these a while ago. We just weren't, I was seeing stuff and I was getting it even though we weren't working on it because you know we will. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, I do that too. Like I see something, I'll pick stuff up. Yeah, because it's like, well, I know we're going to work on it. So let's see. Try some. Put some of these maybe up here. Ooh, and then what I might do. Bye, Sophia. Have fun. Bye, Sophia. I think what I might do is cut out some. Oh, details. wait. She's Bye, leaving. Johnny. Bye, bad. She's doing something else. Sorry. Hey, Johnny, I just picked your, one of your packets up. I think what I might do, how does this sound? Since this will be all vintage -y, you know, Tim Holtz right. type stuff. This, I got this packet from Johnny, but look at the paper in the background. I might do some, I'll do some different size Easter eggs and put them on here because this is all Easter egg dye stamps. So That's I'll make Easter idea. eggs out of out of these. That'll be fun. Johnny said that uh, pack is from J9. Oh, okay, okay. I got that one, and then I got this one. Hmm. Oh, you know what I have? I do have, hold on. This reminded me of stuff. Reminded you of stuff? Stuff. <laughs> now if I can find it. Lisa said she sent Kim a picture she wanted to watercolor, and she, Kim did a felted picture of it, and she posted it in the group, and here it is. Ooh, well, here I it is. I haven't seen that it. That is beautiful. She felt it that. Oh my gosh, let me see. What? The whole thing? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's. I, I don't know how to do that. Wow, it's stunning. That's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Holy moly, Kim. That's beautiful. How long did that take? Man, I needle felt it. Wow, that is beautiful. You're so talented. <laughs> Eileen and Colleen, your feather pens are in the mail. Thank you, <laughs> we, we rhyme. Does anybody, did anybody ever get a felting machine? No. Did you ever have one? Yeah, I've got one in the closet I haven't used in years. Pull that thing out. So you felt it before. With the machine. Okay. That I didn't know there was a machine. I assume Kim did it by hand, but I guess I shouldn't assume that. I don't know. Yeah, it's a I didn't a even know there like was a machine. Like a sewing <laughs> machine. 
Okay, Kim said she started a while ago, then put it up and, and got it out again yesterday. That it, that's that's really it, cool. It's it's so cool, Kim. Man, that's the neatest thing I've ever seen. I've never seen anyone do anything like that with with it. Like I've only seen people make like little creatures and stuff, not like a big scene. Yeah, I've never. Yeah, that's cool. I just think a little, uh, yeah. little animals and stuff. Yeah, John made twenty tote bags and eight tumblers today. Wow! Yay! Yay. Bags. Ooh. What's the theme? What's the theme? And here's Sophia's forest book with her first image. She put an egg. <laughs> she put, <laughs> I, I she put, damn it, fathers. One of them already hatched. Do you have an idea, any idea what this means? Oh, it's, I think you need, to, she should put little dinosaurs coming out of there. That's yes. She said, cue the dramatic music as the camera pans back to show some monstrous Godzilla sized chicken marching off towards the nearest town. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you should put a big chicken. Put a big chicken in there. Oh, big chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Love it. Okay, what is John? Six needles. Kathy can't figure out how to use one. Uh, Johnny. <laughs> Johnny, I was sewing on Sunday and I sewed on my machine yesterday. <laughs> you missed it. Yes. Yeah, so if you have any sewing questions, ask Kathy. She yeah. is the expert now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I can read that. Sound, but I have no. You have proof. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We Hold want on. Photographic proof. I do. Colleen <laughs> made me. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> You're so me. I am so. I, mean, I was like, and Eileen didn't say that. I did. She's <laughs> like, Eileen will need proof. And immediately they got a picture. <laughs> do I have proof? I was like, Eileen needs proof. Eileen wasn't in the conversation, but I just I just couldn't resist. Okay, you guys are so funny. We are. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Here's my here's my practice sheet, but I have proof that I did this. Hold on. Bunch of smart asses. <laughs> okay, now like where are my 70s books I brought down? All right. Where is it? <laughs> I brought down, I thought I brought down my 70s. Okay. You guys think you're so funny. There you are. Ugh. There you go. Okay. We are. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Here it is. All ready to go. There's our photographic proof. And then here's this one. And there it is when it's done. And you used a zigzag stitch. I used a zigzag stitch. And then where's my... And then here, here's all my sewing. Okay. See? Here, I'll... Do I have proof? Oops. Oh, wait. Uh, we, we now have to get Kathy to buy some of those double needles. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Come on, Eileen. This is, this is enough. That, that'll take me a few more years. Okay, see? Sewing. Got all fancy, sewed all these with sequins in there. Wow. Sequins in the, on the page with, through the thread, through the sewing machine. 
Yeah, I can sew now. I did this at Ingrid's. These are different colors. All I had was gold uh, sequins. Now, Kathy. Yeah. When your thread on the top, your spool of thread, uh -huh. start running out. Yes. You need to put, I'm trying to, never mind, because I think it would be too hard to explain it. Never mind. Okay, when I get when it gets low, I'll we'll we'll uh we'll FaceTime or something. Oh, okay. And you can uh you can explain it. Okay, see stitching here. I just I went crazy. Stitched through my whole book. She did. I did. <laughs> oh, there's more. So this is hey, oh um Johnny, when you're out doing stuff if you find vintage file file folders this is a vintage file folder I do. come by and they can be expensive so keep your eye out for vintage file folders buy Talk them for us talking Dude. about johnny did you see that book that she has that ledger my god johnny has another ledger the one that she's uh, going to be selling the pages, I think she did sell. What is oh, it? No. Nineteen by something or other. Oh, I didn't. I missed that. See this. Um, this, this dog is the one that she, the one that she, the one that she made. A... No, the one that she bought. She couldn't. She needed to get her husband to unclasp it. Oh, get oh, that one. Oh, okay. I'll have to, I'll, I'll save me some. What size is it, Johnny? Oh, it's eight by 19 wide. It was the oddest shaped book I ever saw. Wow. Hey, save me some. I'll take, I'll go back and look at it. Because... You can never have too much ledger paper. Right, Colleen? Right. Tell Tom <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He, dis he disagrees. Hey, Johnny, did you see Colleen's photo album, the antique photo album she got? Were you watching? Or did you just get here? Kimberly posted her card. Okay. Here it is. Uh, oh, Kimberly. seeds. Watermelon seeds. Ready, set, grow. Farm <laughs> girl starts small. Oh, I love it. <laughs> uh, she, so she, nice. she did see it. She did. <laughs> she said she's going to come get it while you're sleeping. <laughs> I might help her out with it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll I'll meet you in uh, Kentucky. <laughs> uh, Anne just posted hers. Okay. Or at least throw the pictures at you. Take the pictures. <laughs> I think you should take a bunch of those Timmy people as a joke, Colleen, and have them all sticking out the sides of that. Yeah, or put them put on, it the, on the coffee table or something. Yeah, or put them on his pillow. Yeah. The little ghosties are coming at him. Oh, nice, Anne. Oh, there's watermelon, the yellow background. It's got a little map of nice. Venezuela. Oh, nice. Oh, look at the hummingbird. Oh, love the hummingbird. Oh. Is that a stamp or is that a fem is that something you cut out? Love it. Very pretty. I like it. It's very imaginative too. I was taking it all in. Okay. So let's go up here. And then I need to 
I should probably make an egg template. Bye, Terry. Thanks for being here. Bye, Terry. See you later. Ooh, you know, I can make my own paper doll with some, and then uh, some of those, there's the pants and stuff I could put on them. Perfect. From the paper doll where it has like the one body you use over and over. Yep, yep. I could make my own. Like, yeah, just make like a plain paper doll with nothing, like the no face like she did. Yeah, and then I could put like these cool clothes on her too. Ooh, perfect. I can use this as a template. Ah, perfect. All right. Bye, Terry. Okay, so yes. Oh, this would be fun. There's a lot of cute clothes in here. I have to wish I had the body for these still. The body's not in there. I thought I wish I had the body myself for these. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Anne says, Colleen, I'm going to make paper dolls, too. Oh. I'm going to make it in your stream tomorrow. Oh. Okay, I have to look at that. Yeah, I think the paper dolls are on the back here. And then that's them with their clothes. This is the Dolly and Friends 1970s paper doll. This was uh, enabled by Kathy. <laughs> How cute are these clothes? Yeah, so I'm going to do that. Okay. I'll do, I've been doing paper dolls, so I'll do some more paper dolls. All right. Everybody had one of those. Uh, well, not one. There's probably 20 of them. Dover Paper Dolls books. Oh, the Dover ones. Yep. I don't know if I... I have one with women in it, but I not specifically Paper Dolls. This has got brown tones. Stephanie says, Colleen, I just remembered I have a stencil of a big and small paper clip when you're looking for one. Oh, Ooh, thank you. Stencil. Hmm. Yeah, I weaned it. <laughs> uh, I weaned it. Yeah. Anne said her paper dolls are inspired by you, Colleen. Oh, oh that's nice. Thanks, Anne. That's sweet. Trying to stay out of trouble and not bang my toe into stuff and be good. <laughs> Is it next week that the the thing comes the pin comes out, yeah. Colleen? Hopefully, it's crossed our fingers and toes. <laughs> yeah, uh, they'll, they'll come out Monday. Hopefully, I hope it's good enough. That he'll do an X-ray and if it's healed enough, it'll come out Monday. And I. Oh, the God, it does. I have banged it so many times. Oh, it just, oh my God. Colleen, the rest of the week, don't move. Just uh, stay in one spot. Mm -mm. I, it, yeah. I'm ready for it. I'm ready. Ready for that to, to come out. I'm not even afraid to get it out because I want it out so bad. It's kind of like having a baby. <laughs> Just get it out of me. <laughs> You're like, oh, I'm okay with whatever it is. Let's just wrap this up. I know you're so excited when you find out. And by the end, you're like, get it out of here. <laughs> Bye, Tori. Bye, Tori. Bye, Tori. See you later. Yeah, wrap your foot in bubble wrap. Yeah, good idea. That might not be a bad idea. Oh, Eileen, we see you. Hey, Eileen. 
And then Stephanie's got, a, Stephanie's got a push a stencil of a push pin and a diaper pin. Oh, those are cool. Oh, you got long hair, Eileen. I can't get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. There you go. Roll it up if you don't. I mean, now everybody knows what you look like. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I love seeing what everybody looks like. I do too. She's not just a voice now. I am now. <laughs> <laughs> Eileen is more than just a, a pretty voice. <laughs> All right. All right, I think I'll start stamping now. All right, so I'm gonna get that brown because then that'll all oh, that'll I'll go with like that brown grungy color. All and right. you haven't stamped the the rabbit yet, right? That's that's no. the actual stamp. Okay. No, I was just kind of figuring out like where to place it. Yeah. And then I had found these are like little tickets I had gotten. And they have like oh, bunnies and cute. chicks. And so I think I'll stick those in here. And we'll see. And we, but I, oh, yeah, we plan on streaming um, Thursday around one o'clock. Yeah. So, and, uh, and so just let y'all know. Yeah. Do you know what you're going to be working on? Maybe. Maybe the forest book, but you never know. We may just prank along with this too. Right. We may not be feeling it. Whatever. We'll do some type of art journaling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes have you art. done have you done any pages off camera in the forest book? I have not. Oh my no. god. No, Helen. I haven't no. even been in my art room since I got <laughs> yeah. the dog. Been in puppy mode. <laughs> I've been in puppy mode. I've got to, I have to leave my house to do art. <laughs> it's it's getting easier. It's like he's been upstairs all day. Doug's been working. Kevin's, I mean, he's been he's doing good, but I just I haven't had big blocks of time to come down here. Yeah. Okay, let me get my stamp pad. What I need to do is start bringing him down here with me in the pen. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Starting like he's starting to calm down more. Yeah, okay. use this one. Oh, this but you know that puppy oh, stage where they're just like they can't sit still. Yeah. 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 You're doing something. What's the what's the worst thing that he's done so far? He's like a toddler. What's the worst thing? You know what? God, don't even ask me. He hasn't like knock on wood. He hasn't chewed any. I mean, he probably like an accident in the house is probably the worst he's done. Then that's really good. And that's, I mean. Nothing's chewed, although we all have like we all have scratches all over us because yeah. <laughs> he's at that chewing stage. But um, God, and I I hate to even say anything, but like because what he did get he went the his crate didn't get closed all the way when he went out at two last night. I didn't Kevin had taken him out. And uh, the crate didn't get closed. So when we got up, we're like, oh, my God, it's seven. He slept all night. <laughs> well, we didn't know Kevin had taken him out. But then he got out of the crate. And Doug's like, oh, my God, he's not in his crate. We searched all over. He did not. We couldn't find that he had an accident in the house. And Kevin, like, took him out right away because he, like, wanted to go out. And then he did his business both right away and came back in. So I don't even think he tried to go in the house when he was. So yeah, he would. So Kevin took him out and he was able to hold it for five hours. And then, you know. Yeah. And, wow. From like then, two to seven and where he could have gone. I mean, he's held it all night in the crate. But he, yeah. I don't know what time. I don't know when he got out of the crate. But he was out for a while. We turned on all the lights. We took the phone. We searched all the carpets, the floors. He obviously didn't poop, and we couldn't find anything. 
That's great. So we've been really lucky, but there's like, you know, there's cords behind our couch. I have all yep. my cords from my lamps. I tried to put up, you know, above the, above the floor. Yep. So, so far. And even like we've been leaving shoes out and he hasn't, um, he hasn't gotten into shoes, but you know, we have like all Jack's toys are out. We have a big basket of Jack's toys. And then we had gotten like the puppy toys and stuff from Peggy. We started with those. He's still playing with those. He'll grab Jack's toys. I mean, he has stuff to chew. So. Ann says, where did you find him? We found him at Crest Kennel where we got. Oh, where did we find him this morning? That's yeah. I don't know where he was running around. By the time we came down, he was like running towards us. So I don't know. He was probably, he could have gone because he has a pen that he's in during the day. And that was open. He could have gone in there and slept. He likes to, um, he likes to sleep on his back in the pen, <laughs> which means he's really comfortable. And yeah. my guess is he was sleeping on a couch all night. Oh, he can, he can jump on the couch now. Dave, my guess is he was on the couch. I bet he was. He might have been. He was He's either like, on the couch or on the ottoman where Jax is all the time. He's like, yes. So, but yeah, before we used to have to help him up on the couch, we had to put him up and then help him up. And then last night he just bounced up on the couch. So I, I all the dogs I've had, I've never had one that was put in a cage. Um, I always thought like, oh no, I you did when my were kids. younger. I did potty training and all that, but I don't now they're older. But I did when they were younger. Like, yeah, I like, never did. I was worried about them like getting a hold of something, like like she was saying, and choking in the middle of the night, like you know, grabbing something. Yeah. 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 I think once they got older, um, then I did not. But in the beginning, I was worried about you know what they could harm themselves if besides going to the bathroom. So what did you do, Eileen? Did you have like when you went out, did you have like a special room for them or did you Yeah, I put them put them in a bedroom. Okay. Okay. That, so that works. It's like, like the same where, type of thing. Yeah, it's the same thing where you just like some place that, I don't have to do that with mine, but like uh, I think my mother in law puts them in a laundry room. She has like a um and she puts a baby gate in front of it. So like yeah, yeah, that makes some more sense. I just don't like you know, where, they, where they can see out, you know, and all that. I like, think oh. the worst thing I ever had a dog chew was, like, was my oh. Bible. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that's not fun. I'm sorry, it's Katie's mother in law, not mine. I'm, yeah. I'm getting old. They say he's um, there while keeps them in the laundry room. And that's like, that's not really a bad place. It's probably tiled or waterproof floor. Yeah, you know I mean, only things in there, washer, dryer, like. Hi, Lori. Okay, Lori. Lori, Lori said, Lori. I have to remember about puppy, puppy, puppy proofing. Her pup found a color pencil. Ooh. Yeah, I've all I've done is I put everything up. But now he's like at table height. So now I got to make sure we don't leave anything on the tables. But as far as the crate thing, if you saw, I'll have to show you a picture of his crate, Eileen. It's a nice crate. It's like the luxury crate. Luxury with the big crate. Puppy bag. My, uh, like my daughter does. My She's got Is three it a triple story does. crate. Is it what? A triple story. Triple. <laughs> it's got two levels. <laughs> It might as well be. And what we got it because like when Jack had his crate, we had it in the laundry room and he'd always go in there when we left. Well, he doesn't have the crate anymore, but we put a bed where his crate was. He still goes there when we go out. Wow. He roams the house, but this one, like it opens from the front. It's not metal. It's like a sturdy plastic. It's huge. It's in my kitchen so he can see us if he's in it. But he's never in it during the day, just at night when he sleeps. But what's cool about it is it has an opening in the front. But then what I'm going to do is the side comes up so it can just be open. 
So it'll just be his place to go and I'll always keep it open. Yeah. So he's not like cramped in a little, little cage. Yeah. Hi, Jasper. Oh, Karakite is big. Yeah. Yeah. Ours is big too. And it has, ours is, it's huge, but you need to have them in a small place at night. And when you're not there, because you don't want them to go to the bathroom in the crate. So it has like a, a wall that's so far it's on the second one. I'm, we're trying, I think we're about ready to put it to the third and then there's another fourth one. Then you take it off and then they cast the whole crate as he grows. Oh, so it's you like, it's it. adjustable. I like your eggs you put on there. Did you read what um, Lisa said? An article, popular craft retailer with 25 Indiana store files for bankruptcies. Joanne stores. Um, yeah. Yeah, they were saying someone bought them out. So I think it's, it's going to be, it might even some keep the same name because sometimes they get bought out, but they keep the same name. Yeah. Somebody bought them and they're not going to close them is what I heard. So hopefully that's the case. Do you have house plants, Kathy? No. Okay. No. I we uh, No, we used yeah. to... <laughs> After we got married, we had Doug had some house plants and we kept adding. We had like over 30 house plants we had to give away when we moved to Switzerland. Mm -hmm. So we never I may have one on my counter or something. Because <laughs> they were they were hard to keep up. I mean, you have to water them, trim them. Yeah. And you know, there's we, a lot of them are poisonous to, to cats and dogs. A yes, like them. poinsettias. I do like to get yeah. a poinsettia and I always um I always keep it up on the table so where, you know, Jack doesn't bother it when we had, in fact, I didn't have it for several years when we had the cats. Now uh, I have a question. Do yes. you call it poinsettia or poinsettia? Poinsettia. What do you call it, Eileen? Poinsettia, but a lot of people call it poinsettia. Yeah. That's what they call it. You call it, see, I think it depends. It's, it's a regional thing. I am putting down some of the fodder school uh, I die whatever Ooh. papers we made. Oh, what was that called? It begins uh, with an S. Shiro or the ink thing? Yeah, what was that process called? That was fun. Okay. All right, I'm going to start stamping. I need to open Yeah, it. stamp that damn rabbit. <laughs> I'm doing it. I have to open up. I haven't even any documents yet. <laughs> Uh oh, I have shoot. I must have used I must have used the brown stamp pad. It's not in here. Let me go look with my other stamp pads really quick. I've got the oxide one. That's pretty dark. Let me just look real quick to see if I have the regular stamp pad. Oh, Lori is in a battle with a brown bird. It's chasing off her bluebirds. Google says to block the birdhouse hole. Oh. Google says to block the birdhouse hole. Huh. To make the brown bird go away and leave the little bluebirds alone? <laughs> so is it like oh. a sparrow or the type of finch? Yeah, what like kind of brown are you, bird? Are you talking about like a grackle or a starling, the nuisance birds that are like bigger? I bet it's one of those bigger Or it could be, or is it a cowbird? They're kind of black with brown heads. Yeah, I was thinking of that. It will kill the brown. Kill the oh. brown bird. Yeah, the brown, brown bird, bird. The blue birds. So they're blue birds. They're not blue jays. Because I thought blue jays, like, oh, they're cowbirds. Never heard of a cowbird. Cowbirds kill blue birds. I didn't know that. Huh. Hmm. We rarely ever see a blue bird. And we have loads of cowbirds because we're right by a farm. Well, that would be why you don't see any blue birds. Yeah. They're smart. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> They're smart enough to stay away. What in the world is a cowbird? 
they are typically in oh, uh, oh, oh, fields, fields and stuff like farm fields for bugs or like they're pro like protein eaters. Ooh. They're, they're just really not, I mean, they're just brown, they're black with brown heads. They're nothing special in terms of looks either. I don't know if they get on cows and pick bugs off of them, how they got the name cowbird. I never heard of them. If heard live, of them. Yeah, if you don't live by a farm, you probably would not. Farmland or open. Yeah, like that, a sparrow. Well, they're bigger than a sparrow, but yeah. Is that going to be a pocket, Colleen? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. No, that's like just an envelope, and I covered it with that paper, so now it looks... I don't know what I'm gonna put in it, but I got a pocket. Kind of goes with the sorta with that. <laughs> and that one I went with the browns. Because that's why I had started. I've got just some neutral papers down. Let's see. See, I started off putting plain papers and then I just started throwing on. I think it's before I had all the scrapbook papers. Jasper. Hopefully it's in here. I must have put it away with my other distress inks. I tried to keep all the sets together. Brushed border away. Jasper's bird problem is that they eat, she has, they have olive trees there and they, the birds eat them and then they poop all over her convertible. So, oh, so yeah. they eat all the yeah. olive. Ugh. Not good, Jasper. I hope she always has her top up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, yeah, let's not add that. Oh, here it is. I got it. It fell out. Oh, I love this tag. It was on some clothes I bought with a cute little hippie girl. All right. It had fallen out. I haven't opened it yet. Right? <laughs> let's see. Um, oh, yeah, I got all these. Free bird. Oh, cool. Oh, where'd those come from? It was a digi set I bought somewhere. With all these little. Oh, yeah, I pulled her out of the sewing book. And then I scanned her. I think that was Kimberly's idea. I copied some that was in that 70s sewing book. Oh, cool. I actually have a block. All right. Eileen, Miss Paint a lot hasn't been streaming very much recently. She streamed yesterday and today. She did? Yeah. Oh, maybe because she's on the design team, busier. No, not really. No, she's been sick for a week. Oh, oh. She was sick. Uh oh. Oh yeah. 
Okay. The poop has stained the roof of your car. It, it, it's, a, it's a soft top. Oh, sure? that's the oxide. Darn it. She's got black olives all over the ground. Oh. Huh. They oh. do poop, they, they poop on Tom's car in the summer when he parks that five. But where do you live, Jasper, that you have black olive trees? Oh, you know, you know why they, you know what they do? Because when I was at Ingrid's and when I went to, I used to go to this exercise place, there used to be a, um, there used to be a cardinal that was always there and they look they like to look at their reflection in the glass of the cars and they like to look in the side mirrors. Huh. And when yeah. I was at Ingrid's the other day, her husband was like, Oh, those birds are back. They were over by our cars looking in the windows. And I noticed I had poop on the side of my car. Huh. But he I was always know. like, no, no. I like, I'll just, you know, they, we just take it through the car wash, but they, for, they like looking in the mirrors of the windows of the, uh, the windows and the mirrors on the side of the car. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Because like, it's like they do that. Uh, I've seen geese do that too. Because um, when I know I went to get in the car, I'm like, oh yeah, they're looking in the they're looking in the mirror because it was, you know, on the side of the the driver's side. I'd love That's a black awesome. olive tree. I love black olives. I do too. I could eat a whole can of them. And olives are, olive trees are so pretty. I like their pretty tree. Kat says in her complex where she lives, they're not allowed to feed the birds anymore. They can be fined if they do. We're not allowed what? to feed. We're not allowed to feed any birds here either. Yeah, because wow. you get so many and they become a nuisance. Yeah, I, I don't feed them because they can, they say they attract armad, uh, yeah, armadillos. Oh, really? I didn't know yeah. that. Oh, Eileen, this stamp is really nice. I'll Do I need it one? Here so you can see it. Do you, oh, it's by my name here. Uh, hold on. Do starlings like cows? No, starlings are a bird that someone brought over from another country that became an invasive species. They are not actually from the U.S. Like some person thought it was a bright idea to bring them in from, I don't remember what country. And then they just, you know, like thrive here. And now they're just thousands of them. Thousands. That's like there's the gypsum geese that somebody brought over. Gypsum uh, yeah. geese? They're, they are not native. Oh, the Egyptians. They're not native oh, to the U.S. Horrible. Filthy, filthy animals. Huh. Okay. Oh, I sh oh, it did work. Oh, it's cute. I I should use my, my pad, my little wow. cushion underneath, but that turned out really cute. Look at Oh, nice. It came from Eng okay. oh, England. Feeding wild animals is against the law. Wow. Well, that's nice, Kathy. Yeah, I just I need to make sure I get more um more ink on there because here I'll show you. Let me share this out of here. Eileen says how it is, doesn't she? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's laughing mm -hmm. at Eileen going, they're nasty, nasty birds. <laughs> oh, they are. Okay, because look at, see how I need to make sure I have enough ink on it. Look how that turned out. That's perfect. Yeah. What I might do, I think I might just tear this. Nice. Stick it in here. Stick it over that. We'll see. Are you going to color that one? I don't know. I don't know. I'll just, I, I don't know. I may, it depends on how the page goes. It may just be all browns for this page, but then I'll definitely, I'm going to do a couple pages with this stamp because I really like it. 
I think that's so funny. And Colleen's the only one that doesn't like it. I know. I don't like it. Colleen, like, she's like, ew, I'm not getting that. I mean, I'm like, oh, we love it. I had zero, zero temptation on that one. All right. So. All right. I was like, thank you. Ooh. He just saved me some money because I didn't like it at all. Oh, that's the oxide. I keep using the oxide. Where's this? I really like that. And this, God, that one turned out perfect. Let me tear around him and put him on top of the other one. I'm like the worst stamper. Everyone likes them. A <laughs> 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 reading chat. That is funny. What do you all know? <laughs> Marguerite says someone brought over fallow deer from England to one of the Gulf Islands. They called half of them. They culled half of them, but they came back. It cost thousands of dollars to cull them all this time. Huh. Fallow deer. Oh, no. Oh, don't even read it. No, I'm not. Everybody should uh, talk to Brooke about deer. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Thank God she wasn't really hurt. Oh my gosh, yeah. thank goodness she was fine. Her she car wasn't. <laughs> no, and I had heard that, but that I felt bad when she was all bruised up on camera. Oh yeah, she was had bruises all over. Well she got a new car, which is good. Yes. I've never heard of a deer doing that. Mm -mm. What? Jump, oh, jumping on. Yeah, usually, you know, they run across. They don't Yeah, but jump it in. smashed right into the side of her car. Mm -hmm. It must have been just like going, you know how they leap really, you know how they run, how they leap all over the place. Maybe I, it just was doing that and the road was mis there. Miscalculated, up, miscalculated the, it went, you know, her speed and. And all that. Well, the deer wasn't too good after it either. No, I bet it wasn't. No. Poor thing. Poor both of them. Oh, this, and I also, it's, this is not a smooth surface that I'm stamping on because I know that I've like either glued or used that medium. I need to use my uh, mat underneath the page. I still I like wanted, it, though. I wanted Johnny's uh, pad. I have a pad. I have like a stamping pad. Oh, I could use one of those um, mouse pads. Yeah. It'd be thinner. It'd be easier to put in a journal than the because I've got the big thick one. Uh huh. That's not a bad idea. I might have to get one of those. Yeah. Oh, that's my daisy girl. Where'd she go? Um, shoot. Ooh. Where did she go? Oh my gosh. I did it right in my hand. I don't know what I did with it. Oh, yeah, I made oh. this. Yeah, Lisa says she uses the foam sheets. For stamping. Oh, that's a good idea too. I have some of those foam sheets. Where's my paint? Here it is. Let me move this down so you guys can see what I'm doing. Hey, 
okay, Colleen, do you have to, you, you don't have to go or anything, do you? <laughs> Funny Eve. Uh, no, I, just, I didn't, you know, I didn't know if you had no, to go. The only thing I go to is a doctor. No, um, I didn't know if you had anything to the house. It's Friday, I do go, I do have a hair appointment. I'm going, you know, I have the pen and I'm still going. Oh, it's, my, it's, it's my left foot, so I mean, I can still drive. It's I just choose, I choose not to run around because it's just gross to look at. It's gross. Oh my god, people. put bubble, do put bubble wrap or something over it. Yeah, it's just people will gross out. My kids, like everybody who's, who's came over, are just like, oh my god, is that a pen sticking out of your toe? And I'm like, yep, oh. yep, ain't it pretty? It's pretty. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. Yes. Like, yeah, but it is. Pretty painful. Right. Yeah, pretty painful. <laughs> pretty, pretty painful. That's yeah, that sums it up. But yeah. So that'd be my first day out other than doctors. So I do I do go there. She doesn't she doesn't care. Just be, just be careful, Colleen. Cover, can you cover it up at all? No. Yeah, I won't let you do that either. The boot, if I'm wearing the boot and I, um, it covers up, I mean, it pushes my foot's for not all the way to the end of the boot. You know what I mean? Okay, so you can at least cover it. It's partially covered with the boot. The boot protects it. I okay. just don't, I just don't wear the boot. At home. All the time yeah. at home because it slows down the healing, as I learned with the first one. Couldn't you take like one of those little Easter eggs, like half of the plastic Easter egg, and put it over your toe <laughs> <laughs> or something? So it's what are you drinking? <laughs> a little bumper, <laughs> like a chicken. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> no, just to protect it. So God, that's gotta hurt when you bump it. Oh man, Marguerite. Oh my God, when you said you bumped it and then you had to put the doctor told you to pull the pin. Yeah, that's what I just did before when you were talking. I did, but now I know how I bumped it and it totally like spun the other direction. Oh yeah. And then it went in a little bit. So then I had to kind of do that method again. Now I knew the method. Yeah. It's See, Darlene said, duct tape the egg onto your, <laughs> and your foot. <laughs> it's fun. Yep. I'm having fun. Well, I will have a wonderful toad. It doesn't hurt anymore. So I have to remind myself that I have a toad. It doesn't hurt anymore. Right. Because you were in pain all the time, right? Oh, I did. That. I was in pain during the whole, like, during the whole healing process of the other, you know, with the other surgery. But I mean, hurt. even before you had any surgeries, you had pain in your feet, right? Yeah. 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 So it'd be worth it. I'm going to steal this out. I'm going to take Eileen's. I'm going to cut this folder up. This is one of our folders we did with Kathy Arbor. So, are distress inks permanent? No, no, I don't think so. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Maybe. He's different. Let's see. Well, <laughs> oh, that looks cool on there, though. Like, I don't know if I like her or not. Uh... I need to do a tip in here. Like this. Maybe she needs a different face. Yeah, I don't like. Yeah, I don't like it. Not sure. Oh wow, you've gotten a lot done, Kelly. <laughs> I see. Yeah, I got to do tip in. So I have Eileen's girl on the back. Okay. I like those. Um, Comp those um, journals that Maddie made from a composition book. Did you see those in the Facebook group? Oh, I it was that the was that the the blank ones the blank 
composition she was selling because I have those. I haven't done anything uh, with them. Here's here's a picture of it. Oh, that. Oh, no, I didn't see it. That's pretty. Yeah, she made them from composite from light composition books. Wow. She has nice work. No, I didn't see that. Yes, she has a video on her channel. That's right, Marguerite. Oh, she has a video. Oh, thanks, guys. Okay, let me get some water. Ooh. Yeah, that was. She taped the look. Say this one. Yeah, I feel like uh, Dina, man. I ripped a, a Dee Dee, Dina Wakely, and Dina. I, I ripped up a, a thing I had together and using it, the art somewhere else. That's what Dina Wakely does, and and also Dee Dee does it too. She'll take something apart and then use it somewhere else. Okay, so with these Tim Holtz pencils, watercolor pencils, if I do this and then spray it with water. I can oh, I didn't know there was brush. such a thing. You can do that, Kathy. Okay. Thank you. Dar said that everyone should have deer whistles on their bumpers so that the deers run away when they hear them. They're inexpensive. She put in a uh, Deer a whistles? Link. Oh. Yeah. If I had a deer whistle on my car, they think I was insane. <laughs> you just just tell them that you're just prepared for, you know, <laughs> just in case they make their way to florida you're prepared <laughs> oh, now don't forget we've got a lot of deer yeah, oh you, yeah those, those deers in the keys are wonderful does it work for alligators <laughs> yeah. oh yeah <laughs> he does need a whistle for alligators <laughs> Or flamingos? Or <laughs> flamingo itself. Oh, he's bringing me a box. Mailman. All right. Yes, How's that working, Kathy? Good. I just want like a light, just like a light wash of braid burlap just to give more. Uh, well, it's also, shoot, how am I going to do this? Maybe, oh, here's what I'll do. Maybe I'll use the spray. All right, hold on. I brought my sprays down. I could do my cover now. I have Ooh. my sprays down, so I could do that spray cover thing that you did the other week. I oh, the Megan thing? Yeah. Yeah, I had to had to bring my sprays down. Um. Yeah, I like I like that technique. So what if, so what about uh this with that technique? Oh, that would work. So I got to do gesso. Just, You're doing are you doing it actually? Are you doing it on no, the, the cover of this? I'm going to do this in here, yeah. Okay, do you have any do you have any black paper? Uh yeah, I did bring that black paper down that we bought. Okay, so then you would do the black paper and then you do the white gesso and then you put that down and then you do or no the black paper how does it go yeah because the cover was black okay the okay black paper white gesso and then sprays and then black over it like around the outline let me which which okay i did it in here hold on 
I did it in the, um, oh, where's Dana Whiteley? Here it is. Okay. All right. I want to see how this dries. Actually, this might be cool to get all these, the green kind of water down in here. Okay. I think that's what I'll do. All right. The other day, what did I do with it? Okay. Yeah. Now I did not bring in my pot. Yeah, so Let's that see that stencil, Kelly. That would have been convenient if I brought that down. Will that work? I it should work, right? Don't yeah, move. but you just want, okay, because you do the light and then you do the sprays. And then, do you have a mask? Well, I have hers that she used. I have it somewhere. She used this one. See, because you want to be able, you want to have yeah, some yeah. of it covered. Unless you just did, you could do the outline. And then it would be outlined with the black and then the colors would show through. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? I forgot it needs to be a man. Yeah, it needs and that's too open. It needs to be a yeah, man. Yeah, that one's too open. Okay, well, we'll do that then. Shoot, hold on just a second. I'll be right back. That's all right. I was just going to say, God, this is so nice. I can stay on. Jack, what are you doing? I never heard of those and cat known about them since she was young. I never heard of those. I bet Tom's never heard of those either. We've lived there a whole lot. I don't think anyone's ever said you should get those. Hmm. That's weird when you like Especially you know, if like, your deer are so prevalent. Yeah. Agree. Like, well, we live off some whiny roads, so. Yeah. Hmm. When you see one deer, they're always followed by, you know, four or five others. Yeah. I don't always drive the whiny roads, but on occasion I do because it's quicker. I usually stick to the highway most of the time. Can't believe I just replaced that. Well, moving on. It's here somewhere. <laughs> you're like, okay. Once you lose hey, something, you're like, for? it What'd was you... a girl blowing bubbles and with um, like in a daisy field. Oh. I had pulled out the image before and I found it in the daisy paper and now I can't find her. I don't know what I did with her. What did I do with her? Oh, Kat said she spent a huge amount of time at her grandma's farm, so it was kind of necessary, and her dad was very overprotective. Wow. Ah. It's a good thing. That is a good thing. Yeah. This thing is really fluffy. Why do I need to... Maybe they had they need this really fluffy. I think I need to put this one on this side. I'm gonna make two signatures. I think I'm gonna switch a couple over to this one because this one's gotten really fluffy. So you Darlene, know. Darlene hit a deer jumping onto the highway. It was very scary and costly. Yes, I bet it was costly. For sure. Oh, getting onto a highway. Where, so it wasn't ruler area. Okay, so there's that one. And this signature, I'll move, I'll move that over. 
Turn that over. Let me start filling it up. Let me start working in this one. Put this one aside. Where is the girl? <laughs> where is the girl? Ah, found her. Now, where'd the paper go? <laughs> there's the girl. You see the girl. Don't let her move anywhere. Now, where's the daisy paper that I had? Have a fuck. Where is the paper? There it is. Paper. There. Okay. Small space. It keeps getting smaller as I'm working. Good. Okay. I'm going to put some page. She's cute with her little, with her little. Yeah, oh, she's she making, holding it. Okay. She's not home. She's just making a wish. Okay. I'm back. We put something behind it. Welcome back. Uh, did you figure out a, a stencil to use? No, they go away since the don't. I was waiting till I can get upstairs and get all my all to all my stuff that where all my masks are. Because that like there's the stencil girl stencils that are masks. That's what I used for the face, but you could do. Oh, do you have Megan stencils? You have Megan stencils. I have Megan all her stencils down here. Yes. Do you have the ones with the flowers that are, have the masks? Were those the stencil girl ones? Oh yeah, the face. The it was like the face looking sideways. Yeah. I have that. I do have that one down here. And then there were also, there were flower stents, there were flower stencils, it was a stencil, and then it had the mask of the flower cut out. Okay, I have to look up. But how come you remember whether and I do? <laughs> I'm going to run and grab some lunch and run okay. some errands. Thanks, Helen. Thanks for being here. Oh, sure. Thanks, this was fun. Welcome. welcome. Bye, everyone. All right. Have a good lunch. Thanks. Oh, Ann said when she was an EMT, they hit a deer transporting a patient to the hospital. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Um, I didn't know you were EMT, Ann. Okay. Yeah, Anne's been a teacher and EMT. I think she's a teacher, but I didn't know about the EMT part. Wow. Okay, I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go with, um, here, let me put my, get my camera closer so you can see what's happening here. Oh. <laughs> Okay, see how that's running right here when I put the, the watercolor pencil on there? I think I'm just going to go with that and make all that watery and then do the have that as the background. Just have all that see, water. I don't see anything but your hand and a mouse. What? What are you talking about? Are you just talking and not showing anything? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me do this. I'm confused. Okay, I just, okay, you did see that this is, I brought it closer. See where I, see where it's all watery around the rabbit here? Okay, yeah, okay. I think I'm just going to work with that and make the whole thing like that. And that's, I'll be in the background just and then I'll the and put the rest of the stuff on top. I had that happen with your big ones too. The big ones I use for the Robin uh, or the Robin Marie stuff. I was like doing all that, 
and I did have that run a little. They did smear a little bit, but yeah, because like, it's that it, it's the green. It's the green. Yeah, it's smearing. Yeah, yeah, and I like it because anyway, just because it's just such a beautiful paper, cotton and nice. Yeah, so. and I think I'll just go with it to make it look more vintagey. And then here, let's see. Oh, here, there's more of the colors coming out now. Let me do this. Okay, Kimberly. Okay. Yeah, thanks everybody for hanging out so long. It's kind of nice. This is the longest I've been able to art at home for a while. That's true, because You've been with his meetings and the doggy and all that stuff. So, yeah, it's just been um, well in with the dog. I mean, when it, I just, I mean, I knew this was going to happen because when they're little, you just got to make sure you take them out so they don't have accidents. But it's getting better. Yay! It is getting better. So, and like today, Kevin's home. Doug had to go to the dentist, but then he was supposed to have a call at one, but that got canceled. So Kevin's taking a test, so he, Doug's going to run the dog out for me. Because when he's working during the day, I try to you yeah. know, take care of him as much as I can since he's working. So Let's, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this. It's like this, like this. <laughs> and then maybe, oh, there we go. That works. Okay. So since I'm going with that watered look, just do this. Or yellow. Yeah, here. It's got more yellow. Okay, I kind of like that. What do you think, Eileen? Looked good. Yeah. I'm sure Kaurin loves it. <laughs> adorable. It's adorable. <laughs> it is funny ever. Not. I'll do a cutesy one. I'll make him cutesy on another page. You'll oh, love it. You're that. welcome, Lori. Oh, sure, Lori. So how's everything? So things are going good with your puppy. He's he or there's he's so cute. But they, it's, I mean, it really, it is like having a kid. <laughs> you don't have to be as careful. <laughs> <laughs> a, you, can, you, you can make a few mistakes with the. Well, you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, you do. <laughs> like they can, you know, they start walking, you know, they're walking around pretty fast. You don't have to carry them and all that kind of stuff. So it's a little easier. Mm. Okay, I do like this. Uh, let's see. Working hard on that page, I will say that. I'm trying to. I have. I kind of. I kind of have an idea now where I want it to go, but we'll have to see. See if it goes there. If it goes in a different direction. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, I need to write something on this. I'm trying to write on it. Oop. I'm sort of. I could, it's like, oh, I have some stamps. Maybe that work. Like, <laughs> like a, some words. Let's see. So you're like working it on a bunch of pages at a time, right? Or yeah, I'm just going back and forth on a bunch of different pages, moving around. That's fun. Just so it's because I don't have like everything planned out kind of winging it so yeah all right i'm gonna dry this there's the white one okay i could do where's there take it easy flower power there we go perfect Man, if YouTube let you play music, we could agree, we could be getting our disco on right now, you know? <laughs> shake your groove thing, shake your groove thing, baby. <laughs> Thanks, Darlene. I will do that. I do have I do have some Tim Grass stamps, or I may just go up with uh, some Poscas and do some do some grass at the bottom. That's a good idea. Yeah, Posca work or yeah, or your uh, car and dash or any of the crayons. Oh, yeah. Ooh, or the Tim crayons. Or the Tim crayons, yeah. yeah maybe I'll do the Tim crayons. All right, let me get my my stamp mat. Okay, where'd Free Bird go? There it is. That's a good song too. That's a classic. Okay, this is a well-loved stamp mat. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, this side's good. Okay. There, this is stamp better now. All right. I like that. She would have had her stuck down better. She's pulling up. It's kind of aggravating. That looks cute. So, yeah, I have like the little flowers, little daisies, free bird. I'm as free as a bird. Boy, I'm going to sew in this later, too, and I can get upstairs. I'll probably do some sewing in it. Oh, that'll be fun. Yeah, you, you could do that, too. Now you know what you're doing. You could sew in yours, too. Yeah, I, I don't know if I'll sew in this because uh, are your pages your pages aren't bound yet, are they? They're not bound. Oh, perfect. Then you'll be able to sew. These are, yeah. I have all these bound. Oh, I won't okay. it'll be. You probably could, but it might be. I'm not okay. I'm not that advanced yet. All right. Ooh, I like these dots. Love the dots. 
confused. Oh, this basket was we must have been for something else because I'm confused at what's in, in the bottom of this. I think I used to dump something on top of it. <laughs> there was meant for something else. That's funny. I'm like, why is this in here? What was I thinking? Yeah, that's weird. I even had like, why is this in here? I have an America cover in here. I had no idea why that's in my 70s basket. Because you were probably like getting sick of picking up and you're just like, I'm throwing it all in here. <laughs> like, I I'm done. so confused right now. I'm like, why is that in here? It's not 70s. I don't know what's happening. Okay, I'm liking this. That's just some really good organization here. That looks good, Kathy. I don't know why it's in here either. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Oh, shoot. <laughs> nah, I don't know if this will work, but we'll see. Uh, did it. Um, what in the world are they doing? Uh -huh. That's weird. Watching out my window. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I forgot about this. This is cool paper, too. That kind of goes with the blue on her shirt. Okay, I think I need to put this over here. Because this ties in with the denim on her shirt. Sorry, guys, I'm off camera. Just holler when I get off camera. Oh, okay. I was I wasn't paying attention. Okay. I love this stamp. I think it's <laughs> my new favorite stamp. Not the, this polka dots. Oh, I love the polka dot. I like the uh, the stamps that came with the bunny. Yes. I will. I will agree with you on that. I like the stamps that came with it. Off. Hmm. I'm gonna put this over here. It's almost like Okay, that's gonna go here. And then there's here. Kathy, what do you think a border would look good on there? Yeah, what kind of border? I don't oh. know what kind of border stamps you have. 
You know what I could do? Because Colleen mentioned um, sewing. I do have the stitching. Stitching oh, might be good. good. That might work. I don't have a whole lot of border stamps. My nemesis, everything wants to fall on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> it's too hard to get off the floor at this point. I'm like, no, I'm on the floor. I uh, just wait for Tom to come home. Hey, Tom. I, oh, I found a simple girl simple. Okay. And there. All right. I can need like, a, I think this is good. I'm like, I'm going to need some sort of focal point, I think, on this one. Where is that one book? I had, what did I do with the book? It had people in it and stuff. I got a big pile of stuff here. Uh, that's not it. Where's the book? Though? All right. We got to scoot some stuff here. Oh, there it is. I can see it. Is that it? Nope. Hold on. Oh, yeah, I had this. What did I do with it? But oh, there's an image. There. That's the book I'm looking for. It has those images. It's going to figure out what I did with the book. Okay, I'm doing the polka dots all the way out. I was going to have them fade, but I think I want them. Um... other one. It started. Okay. Now, this is not the image I want, but I'm looking for the book I got this out of. <laughs> Jackie. You saw your first English daisy on your walk today. Oh, neat. Oh, nice. I love when the Shasta daisies come back. They're my favorite. Here, I'll just fade these out. I'm huffing my stamps. You're huffing? <laughs> huffing my stamps. I don't I just want them to kind of fade out that way. All right. All right, where's my now I gotta find my eggs got buried. Where'd you go? I smashed my. Uh oh, I think she smashed her toe again. And yeah, and I did it again. I got to move my mouse. Wait. Oh, I thought you smashed your toe again. Oh, God. You don't wish that on me. Okay, okay, good. I'm glad you're not. Once, glad once, that's it, once a day is enough. 
<laughs> yes, that yeah, that's when I started. Yeah, that happens. That starts sweating. I'm like, oh Lord, have mercy. Okay. One more. Oh, I got six more days. Six more days. I got okay. this. Oh, here we go. All right, so we got one here. I'm going to be positive he's going to pull. If he doesn't take it out in six days, I'm going to be truly bummed if I can't get this out. I will be dealing with a little bit of bumness. Oh, I don't believe. Yeah, I, I hate to be that way, but I will be because I, I'm tired of hitting it on stuff. And it, it, yeah. hurts. it, it hurts flat out. So I'm tired of bumping it on stuff. Mm, cute. Okay, I think I'll do that. I love this. Do it here. I like to. Still working from the balconies, keeping you company while you're doing housework. That doesn't sound like fun. <laughs> I'm glad we're keeping no. company. Housework is boring. It helps if we're talking. At least you can watch. Okay, so what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to go to the restroom. And then um, I have a package on the porch. If I could reach it. Oh, I'll, be careful, Colleen. I'll bring it in and show you guys. It, I think it might be Maddie's, I think. Yeah. It's not fun without without us. Uh, here, I'll no, it here. doesn't numb you. I know. that. Actually, that would be kind of kind. I wish. He does not numb you. Just, just pulls it out. Oh, the guy who is the guy who like brings you in and writes stuff down, like as like a nurse or whatever. And he's like, when he bring he pulls that out, make sure you bring some sort of pain medication to take right away. And I'm like, note to self, thank you. All right, I will have uh, Advil in the car. Thank you. <laughs> Or maybe I'll take it right before I go in so it's time to just take effect. Oh, that's a good idea. That'd probably be even better is to have it in my system. Mm -hmm. If he's saying that, that's because he's speaking from experience. Other experience getting it done. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take his word of uh, take his word of advice. All right, these I'm going to do in black. So yeah, I think I will do because it does take a little bit for it to kick in. So yeah, I think I'll take it beforehand. Maybe on the drive over because the drive over takes gosh, 30, 40 minutes more. Depending on traffic. Oh, it would be take longer because we're I have a late day appointment. All my appointments, I've gotten lucky and I've had them like, you know, like 10 and 11 in the morning. This oh. one's late in the day. So we're going to be, when we leave there, we will be in rush hour traffic. And that part of like, when we're driving back in a normal time of the day, it's um, a mess. So I know that um, it's normally pretty busy. So I'm expecting uh, quite of a long drive home. So I definitely will be armed with the ibuprofen. Oh, oh God, there'd be nothing better. worse. Pardon oh, me, Annie? Uh, yeah, I'll be sitting in a car and rush our traffic for after it. Because oh, I couldn't get a get. And she's like, well, we can go. We have later, Nat. And I'm like, no. <laughs> no. I want this thing. 
And I don't want to sit and rush our traffic more than we're already going to. He's used to it. He drives in every day. I'm not used to it. it makes me nervous wreck. I'm so, so surprised they have you on Advil and not Tylenol going. Yeah, Tylenol don't help with the swelling. Yeah, the yeah Tylenol just helps with the pain. The Advil actually helps it heal the inflammation. Yeah, the part. only thing with Advil it makes your blood flow. Oh yeah, I couldn't take it prior to surgery. Yeah, the it helps with the inflammation. So that's the advantage of the Advil over Tylenol it helps with inflammation. And when my foot's not propped up, it's swollen. It turns purple and swells. Ooh. Tom's like, freaked out. He goes, why is your foot purple? I'm like, because that's what it does. Tell him it's better than pissy pink. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, because if, if my foot's not propped up, that's it. After a few minutes, it turns purple. Okay, I'm going to need, let's see. All right, so how do you get a restroom? See, I'm all excited for my next page because I'm all Yeah, go to pee, Colleen. Just go to the bathroom because it's not, yeah, I'll be right back. Because <laughs> okay. I'm like, I'm all, all excited about using the bus. <laughs> Where are my... Oh, you. Shoot. I need my dried flowers. Where did I put my dried flowers when I reorganized? They used to just sit out like decoration. I put them in a drawer. Let me check. What I'm thinking, and I'll find them, but I'm not sure where they are right now, is maybe filling in with some dried flowers on top and down at the bottom. I mean, look, I'm just sorry that I'm gonna I need to I'm gonna look. I'm still here, but I'm I'm looking. Years. For years, I've had my dried flowers sitting out in a little box. And now I have no idea what I did with them. Say you should never clean. I know. It's bad. Cleaning is bad. Hey, Patty, do you remember seeing my black dried flowers anywhere when you were here? Shoot. 
Hold on. Yeah, I'm sure they're in a special place too. Let me see. Um, I've always kept these out. I don't know. Well, anyway, when I find them, I think what I'm going to do is kind of fill in Fill in maybe with the dried flowers down here. And then maybe, maybe some butterfly ephemera. I don't know. What do you think, Eileen? What does it need? Flowers would really look nice, though. I know. The flowers would look good. And I've got the dried ones. I have like some vintage daisies they're called they're vintage dried daisies and it would just blend in with this page and then i could keep them you know i could blend in flowers over here too yeah um oh i'm mad what did i and i always kept them out because they look nice sitting out All right. Okay, knowing that I can start then, I can start gluing this stuff down because I think that's a pretty good base. What do you think of the, um, how that is, how that just kind of fades out? Does that look okay or should I, I should probably fade out a little more here. Let me get the stamps down. You can stay here. Let me glue this. Let me glue him. And I can picture the flowers I want to use too. They're like faded. They're really faded. So anybody, anybody working on something fun? What you've been doing while you've been watching? All right. All right, let's stamp this. I think I'll stamp this before I glue these down. Yes. Okay, I'm going to get jet black for these. All right, this is my favorite black ink is the uh, black India ink. All right, where's my block? Here we go. Who's that by? That is by. They used to sell it everywhere. Now it's kind of hard. Let's see, Memories. That ink company, the Memories. Uh-huh. Superior. 
Stuart Superior Corporation. StuartSuperior.com. Oh, here, see, www.stuartsuperior.com. Right down there. But I get it. There's one uh, scrapbook store I can still find it at. All right. Let me get this straight on here. Okay. If I get this open, I wasn't able to grab it. They put it close the door and grab it. If it's too far away, I might. Oh, uh oh, Colleen did something. You remember? I now remember it was a few years ago. This place is still on Etsy. Kim just finished her felt picture. She's going to do another one. Oh, that'll be fun. I love how that turned out, Kim. Okay, hopefully Colleen will be back. Right, I'm going to do this once before, before I do it. Okay, a little more ink. There you are. Are you okay? <laughs> God bless. I unmute myself and then I end up like kicking us all back again. <laughs> Duck. I tell you what. Now, apparently, I just can't touch the. I can't touch that thing. <laughs> okay. okay. So I got some decoupage paper. Flower stencil. Let's see. Where's my ribbons? Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. What's that? One of the things I ordered from her might have been maybe it's on back order. Oh, fun. Here, let's put you big. New stuff. Here we go. Hello, Hokey. I see you. There. I see you. Okay. Ooh, that bag is pretty. So this was uh, sideways. But this collection, the 49 market. I love that. Mm -hmm. Like it. It looks like watercolor. You finished your felt picture getting things around to do another one. Wow. That wasn't finished, what we saw. It looked finished to me. These are from uh, Spectrum Mark Creations. And I got the bag. I love these bags. That they're, the 49 market has. I got a blue one the first time. And I just ordered a black and white one. This one's got the Hummers. And I can't remember what this flower is that they love. Um, I know what that is. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? They're hanging up. Morning pot. glory. Mm -hmm. Morning glory. Is it a morning glory? Maybe. But they kind of, I mean, it's like drapey. Uh, I try to get one if I can find one in the summer. Anyway, so there's the bag. It goes with that. There's and some kind of trumpet flower. Maybe trumpet flowers. Trumpets in the name. That might be it. That's, I've heard of morning glories, but I don't think, I bet trumpet flower could be it. Okay, these morning are. morning glories are kind of viney, I think. They grow up. 49 market collage sheets. Oh, I like those. I like that they have these now. The collage sheets. Like they've, you know, like they've added this as something else they carry. And it's thinner than the cardstock, right? Oh, yeah. It's super thin. This would be great. To for oh, I love the blue. This would go with the butterflies that I got from Johnny. Does, <laughs> Maddie, does Maddie still have those? I don't know. I'll have, to look at her. I'll have to look. Yeah, see, she has these. They're really, I mean, it's definitely like the same as if you were getting, you know, the square pads, the origami. I remember yeah. origami weight paper.
do might be good for the little collages I want to do in that um, little Prima book. It'd be like that would be like budget papers and you get blue. Okay, then it's in different colors. Ooh, I like this one. That looks like the ledger inside of a ledger book. Oh, thanks a lot, Jar. Thanks for being here and thanks for all your help. Bye, Dar. Bye. Yeah, we went, we went, we're going long today. Usually we don't go this long, but I just I have not had a block of time like this. I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna take full advantage of it. <laughs> Okay, I can fill that in with the marker. Right. Ow, there's a lot in here. I love it. I like the words on this one. This might be good for that nature journal I started. This is like never out for nature's. Oh, um, nice. Some of the best memories are made in hiking shoes. That'd be cute for that. All right. Now I get the, I love rub ons. I got the blue rub ons. Yeah, that's why I got these because it has like explore photographs. I figured this would be um, good words for that. Ooh, I like these. Oh, and they have X's. Oh, that's cute. Gosh, these even look like stitches. Look good oh. they make. Now, is that the paper? Is that a stamp? Uh, the rub-ons. Oh, those are rub-ons. Oh, oh, gosh. I did not see those at Scrappy Chic. I'll have to... That's pretty... Like this, that's good with that line. I like it. There is like, so I got the, looks like I just got the papers and the rub ons and the bags. I don't think I got the papers. I like that stencil, that Chow Bella stencil, the flowers. Yeah, she had stencils for sale. I thought I ordered two stencils. Maybe not. Yeah, I thought you said you got two stencils. Yeah, I ordered two stencils. Let me look. I don't think there's another one in the box. No, I'll have to check my order. Let's say, let's say, unless I didn't get it and she didn't have any left and it was maybe something she was carrying and not ordering. Because I did order two stencils. I'll have to look at my thing and ask her. Because it should have been two. Because one was like, um, yeah, I did order two. I'll have to look and see. They could always slip it into my next order. And I like the decoupage sheets. These are by Little Birdie. These are just a neutral, traditional. There you open it. Like this kind of stuff, I really like. Vintage brown, soft colors. I think it might have been butterflies, actually. It was a butterfly stencil that I ordered huh. in her did stencil sale. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll message her. Pretty sure that like these are I think these are made to hold, you know. I mean a lot of look at that. Actually, it's still a lot bigger than the actual stuff. Yeah, it's huge. It's so huge. what are you putting what are you using those bags for? Do you know yet? I think I'm gonna start using mine. Like I, I filled up one with the stabilios. Um, I think I want to start using them for more of the like Tim, uh, the Tim Holtz crayons I did put in a 10, but I'm thinking more, 
pencils and things like Jeannie. And so I can kind of just snap them and put them on the, you know, take them over to the counter. I also thought about with some of these, is I've ordered a bunch of that fabric. That's the other thing I thought about is I bought, let me find it. There are things falling down. Um, I bought some fabric, some eco dyed fabric. And then I bought that um, cheesecloth that was, um, you know, hand dyed. Uh-huh storing some of these in here so they're all in one place oh that's a good idea yeah because i had ordered this from i saw robin marie post about it and i went over and i was able to get some of the eco dyed uh fabric you know, you know what though colleen that's another thing we could do on stream again we have those dyes from my the the dye from eileen the paint the fab the permanent fabric paint and we did that yeah. on cheesecloth that's we can do some more colors. I think I still have a little bit of that left, but I've used it in a bunch of stuff. Where's the rest of it? The rest of it's in a box on the other side where I got all that cheesecloth. I think I'm just going to store all the hand-dyed cheesecloth and the, um, like, eco rusty paper together and like one of these mm -hmm. oh that's a good idea yeah sorry i'm just kind of looking at this that's all right Got these it. need to fade off a little Especially bit until i get back upstairs like oh you get little pink <laughs> little pink little doodads cute ah all right so i'm gonna put those in here i get up later i'll put the rest in here and i have all that in one place and i might do is something like this but label it with um the dina wakely little circle thing and then put what's in here on here okay so okay this um this post this postcard's going to come up here i think it's just not going to blend. Ooh. Or I'll have to cover it up. Found a rabbit on the floor. <laughs> Poor rabbit. All right. All right. I'll have to see. I right, eat a sandwich. Before we talk. And I thought that would be quiet. That would be a quiet thing to eat real quick. What's that? A sandwich. Oh, yeah. It won't make crunching sounds. I was cracking me up when um, at Tony's sale, the first was eating potato chips. <laughs> I was cracking up. Who was eating potato <laughs> Um, It was Brooke. Oh, funny. And she's like, sorry about the crunching. It's all I got. <laughs> oh yeah, I got the tape too. I forgot. This only came, you know, they're varying sizes for the tape. So it's like one big roll, one little roll. But man, this is I love their tape. I bought the black and white tape the other day too. I oh the black and white tape. I got the uh the teal and blue. I mean it's just feels fabulous you did too the teal and the blue yeah this I can buy the blue that went why not there's blue tape that matched the blue rub on or green fabric it. tape the, this one oh wait there's one little skinny one i lied there that one that one i'll we'll have to use that in here let's see if not I on this page but in here somewhere yeah i mean i just think their, their tape is just like their tape is fabulous their rub ons are great and i mean they've got the market cornered on their on these things the rub-ons and the fabric yeah. washi and then now they got decoupage paper so they can add that to their to their they've got a great selection of rub-ons i think yeah and i think so too and i want i, I was looking at the things Kimberly, won't that be good for some summer journals with the 
I think they've got the, they just got, and the stuff is good. Like it's good quality. It's not cheap stuff either. Mm -hmm. it's like really nice. Okay. I can always cover stuff with flowers. Yeah, I was looking, you know, my dried flowers I have, Colleen? Yeah. I can't find them. I They've been out forever in a little container sitting out, and I don't see them anywhere. So I must have put them away in a really good... Oh, did you see uh, the technique I sent you about the dried flowers? No, I not yet. Graham. Just recently? Yeah. Not yet. Oh, it's in the, in the bend. Yeah. Scissors. Scissors. Where are the darn scissors? Good Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Here they are. All right, I'm just fussy heading here. Close this. There we go. I think this, I like how these two look together. Well, this certainly took a different direction. I did. <laughs> I did. I'm going to see. I do like this picture. I'm going to see if I can get this off of here. Oh, my gosh. Of course, it's, like, really stuck down here good. I wonder what I used. I bet I used... Um, I bet I used... Uh, double-sided tape like permanent double-sided tape oh I might get it okay Oh, good. Sure. That is what I did. So I will be able to get it off. I'm going to cover this envelope with this paper. Makes the envelope look a lot less ugly. <laughs> it's a cute envelope. All right. I will be able to salvage this, I think. Why I'm putting glue on that. Uh, at least I got the face is still oh get me a sandwich oh okay what are you going to get me yeah yeah do Italian or like is there like a roast beef or something or oh you know what do an Italian and light, no mayo. Yeah. Say load on the mayo. Ooh, Ooh, that works out. Kevin's going to Jimmy John's. Nice. Yeah. Oh, dental floss under the pick to remove it. Thank you. Glad I looked down. Mm -hmm. 
Let's see. Also, thanks again, everybody who's still here. I have this is for me, this has been fun. They're probably working on their own stuff and yeah, and, just no. I do. I always have something on in the background. Oh, they're doing uh, they're doing Jasper's doing housework and Ooh, here we go. Yeah, we have some company and it's like something. Yeah, this has been fun. I do that. Who was on the other day for a long time? I watched. It was really nice as I worked on some. I was working on the. I was working on the paper dolls. What else? Um, um, who was it that was on? Is it the new person that Marguerite had mentioned? And they streamed for like a really long time, and uh, it was well, that's nice. Fun. Yeah, okay. and I, I worked on my paper dolls when they were on. <laughs> this is all the tunnel floss I have. It was the. It's not gonna. I can't wrap it around my fingers. That's it. It was the end. Oh no! I can't believe you had dental floss in your art room. Yeah, I do. Just. I hate when I get stuff caught in my teeth. Oh, okay, Anson. She's getting a lot of stuff done. Perfect. Good. That's perfect. It was like a new person Marguerite told us about the tried the um Tim. I tried the um technique with the sprays and the mask and that like Megan. It was her. Oh, it, okay. Oh yeah. Who was that? She mentioned it. Dean and um <sighs> As Jean is one, and someone Jean and Kim are crap. Well, I should get a notification when they go live again. So, because I am, yeah, on them anyway. They were on one afternoon, like for hours. It was great because I worked on the paper dolls while I was watching. Oh. Well, that's all right. I salvaged the face. I can. I'll do something with it. Do something. You like the one-handed flossers? Mean the plastic ones? Oh, so I okay. Can, I can use those on everything, but like I use those too. But everything, but I can't use them on um, uh, where I have some crowns because it just won't go in there. I have to use uh -oh. the fashion string for that. The little pick ones. They have a pick on one end. Yeah. Plus, yeah, I like those too. They're so easy. They're so easy to use. They are. Oh, she does it at the stoplight when you're driving? <laughs> oh, yeah. I keep them in my car too. <laughs> do you really? Wow. Yeah. yeah. I do. Just in case. Okay. I kind of... Okay. I think I'm going to have to... Fade the dots off over here. And then I'm going to need some words. It's going to need something. Uh, she does too. That, that's interesting. I've never taken a floss in the car before. So that's the first to hear that. That's not a bad idea though. <laughs> if you go out to eat and eat, you don't have to wait till you get home. Yeah. And then what I think I'll do over here where it's so bright, I'll take some walnut stain. I think I'll just brush some walnut stain over this to... Um, That'll look good. Yeah, to just kind of darken it up. Well, this, I had no idea what, how this, what I was going to do, but I'm liking it so far. All right. It needs more. I need to go over it with the dots. I'm going to see something. Yeah, I agree. Cause it's plastic that, yeah. You can use elastic bands. Weird. 
for his teeth. Hmm. the rest of the envelope. I'm going to do the other side. is a dentist would say only floss the teeth you want to keep <laughs> <laughs> good advice <laughs> that's a good one How's that? That looks good. All right. Now I want to find those flowers. They're probably like out, like right in front of me, but just because they're in a different place. Because they moved. They're right there, but you don't see them. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I might see them. Nope. Ooh, yeah, she looks good here. I want to use her somewhere. She's going right there. No, but I do have some of this gauzy stuff. Might work on here somewhere. See, here's a there is a flower here. Cute. Ah, let's see. There was a poster that said at your dentist's office. I've never seen that as much time as I spent at the dentist. Hmm. Hmm. Them in there playing. I think I need some black over here because I got black on that page. Can you put that there? Okay. And yeah, let's see. I did not find my flowers, but I did find some good stuff. measure you like jim john's better than law than um subway uh i no Maybe. i always i like subway okay like both yeah like both of them 
It's Jimmy John's is like right by our house. Ah, so I, was just just, I was just curious. No, that's it's the closest one. He's just going to grab something. Although we have lunch meat, but um, which I could also have had, but that just sounds sounded good. Yeah, especially when someone else is getting it. I know, I know. And then there's also, do you have um, Jersey Mike's? Um, yeah, I think, well, if it's still in business, way down the road, I think. Okay. Those are good. I like those for like. I've not been to it though. Like it for like Italian beef sandwiches. Okay. That's just good there. Okay. Yeah. Really? They have those. And then they have like Italian subs and stuff like that. But uh, their beef ones are really good. I see they have the like commercial. beef and peppers. Oh, I'll have to try that. Yeah, because it's a close in Chicago. There's Italian beef sandwiches in Chicago, and really no other place has them. They're like, you know how uh, Philadelphia has those Philly cheesesteak sandwiches? Oh, no, I didn't know uh, that. I don't think they're kind of like that, that, but it's Italian. It has it's Italian beef, and then there's um, like Italian peppers, and you can get cheese on it if you want, but usually it's just the beef and the and the peppers. And then sometimes you can get the beef with an Italian sausage with the peppers on top. Oh, so if I you're really in the meat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, your firehouse. Okay, we do have we have firehouse subs too. No, we don't have that firehouse subs. Ooh, I should tear this. Can I tear it? Yes. We have a. They're pretty close in proximity. The subway and the Jimmy John. So, we're probably within like thirty seconds or minute of each other. So, okay. But I never think to go to Jimmy John's. I always go to the subway. I remember when they first came into the area, they brought sandwiches in. And um, they were trying to get you know, people to you know, go to their store and they were dropping them off at like local, like small businesses and stuff. Uh -huh. they, brought some, they brought some into the hair salon I was at Ooh. for people to eat, to get them to learn, you know, taste uh -huh. their sandwiches and stuff. And it had alfalfa on it. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so that didn't go over too good for you, Colleen? I was like, Please tell me you have stuff. Oh, yeah, I didn't eat it. My hairdresser was like, ooh, I love alfalfa. And I'm like, ew, it was piled alfalfa on top of the Subway sandwich. I've never been so grossed out in my life. That looks like grass. It looks like you're eating grass. Just just chomp out in the yard, just little weird bud things on it. I was like, oh. Now I won't even try it. I can't get past the fact that it looks like grass. I've That's never heard of anyone putting that on a sandwich except for when they brought those samples in. I've never heard of anyone using those on a sandwich. I've had alfalfa on sandwiches. No. I've had alfalfa sprouts, yeah. Or in salad. Mm -mm. Yep. That's y'all are weird. Okay, what about bean what about bean sprouts? Do you, do you have no. you oh, ew. God, that'd be even worse. Because so, sometimes there's bean sprouts coming yeah, in, like, I think fried mine rice. Had some with that, too. They both, it was just odd. And I was like, that's what you bring for samples? Ew. <laughs> ew. Okay, how does this look now? Is that toned? Are these flowers toned down enough? They're just kind of peeking through a little bit. I think they're good. I like it. Okay, because, yeah, this is just, that's too much. But I like the little bit of color coming through. All right. Okay, 
That's going down. Alrighty. Oops, I can't lose this. See, always save your stuff. You never know what you might use it for. True to that. They look good to you? Oh, that looks good, what she's doing. Yeah, I think it looks good, too. All right. Hey, Eileen, is that your cat snoring? No, it, I th it might be Jack. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> it Jack's might be. snoring. Her cat snores, too. I know, I know. Jack and, snores. Yeah, I was, um, like, I was blaming it on her cat. No, it's Jack. That's funny. And, you know, Ziggy snores. The puppy snores. The puppy snores almost as loud as Jack sometimes. Oh, my gosh. Is it the funny? Puppy too, it's not an old age thing. It's, it's wow, just a breed. It could be, yeah, it could be. It's probably a lab thing. Interesting. Okay, so do we want the darker or lighter? Probably the lighter. I think the lighter. Yeah, the lighter. Yeah. Lighter. Okay. You, I bet. Is he sleeping in your room with you? Jack? Mm -hmm. Yes. He sleeps on our bed. That's funny. He's 90 pounds of Labrador sleeps on our bed. But he usually stays down at the end. But lately he's been coming up between us. Oh, I use both of attention with the puppy, probably. Oh, that could. Be, oh, yeah, that could be. But he yeah. does make his rounds, though, because he, you know, he's with us most of the time. Then he goes to Kevin's room. Then he goes to his bed on the landing. Then he comes back to our room. Hmm. Now he's actually out on the landing more because he can see the puppy down in his. Uh, he can keep an eye on the puppy. He likes to watch oh. um, He can see the puppy down in the kitchen. That's so. good. Then he can kind of yeah, keep an eye on everything, but not be, yeah, mm -hmm. be right there. Oh, he he does. Like, it's funny because he's down with me now, but like sometimes if I'm, you know, when I come in or if I'm doing stuff in the kitchen, he sits on the ottoman and watches the puppy in the pen. Yeah. He just like sits and watches. That's cute. Yeah, he's a cutie. He's a good guy. And they're playing more, like he's playing with them more, you know? Oh. Which is pretty fun. There's some places in Vegas that have good Italian beef sandwiches like Chicago. Oh, lucky Sherry. Wow. Oh, as good as that one place that was by you, Jude's. What was that? What was the Italian beef place that was by your house? Gene and Jude's or something? Those were some pretty good. I've had them from there. Those are pretty good Italian beefs. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, the ultrasound of uh, her baby is moving all over the place. And and, uh, and and they're like, are you feeling anything yet? And she's like, no, it's my first. So I don't, maybe I just don't know. I know what I'm looking for. She's like, well, what? She, and she goes, look at this. She's like, I'm at the ultrasound. She's like, I'm not even moving it. And look at your baby moving all over. She goes, once. Once you uh, start feeling it, you're not going to not feel it. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, they're only hot dogs. Okay. Um, I laugh so hard. Yeah. Wait. Wait till there's there's yeah. It's all cute now when there's lots of room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bigger. It was all over the place, and I just laughed so hard when I, that girl said that to her. I, Katie was not an active baby. Uh, Kim was, and Katie was not. So I had, 
My first one was not. Then my second one was. So it just depends on the on the kid's personality, right? So Kevin used to have the hiccups. Oh. <laughs> I'd be sitting there and all of a sudden there'd be like boop. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> I forget about that. Yeah, they do. All right, she, that's going there. She can't wait to start feeling the baby. I know it's it's, it's exciting. She can't wait to start feeling the baby. I told her probably my guess was wait. about 20, about twenty weeks, and she's and I think that's what the doctor said twenty to twenty four weeks. I'm like, that's a pretty good guess. Yeah, remember when she re, remind her when she gets a good kick in the side. <laughs> <laughs> and she you remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna need to do something with the rabbit to make it stand out or get rid of these. You like these? Oh, yeah, they're little feet into your ribs. Yeah. Oh. Can you imagine your stomach like having the hiccups and you you don't, but the kid, yeah, it's a doop, doop, doop. That's funny. I don't remember, have, I don't remember having that experience. All right, I need to do, does a bunny need to have like a little blue jacket or something? He's getting lost in there. Yeah, I would color, yeah, color his jacket in. That's a good idea. He is, he's, he was, he was kind of light from the beginning. Yeah. Oh, where's that other one that I ripped out? Oh, here. Hi, Lori. Welcome. He's here on our lunch. Thanks for coming in and hanging out with us. We're working on a 70s. Kathy's is less 70s in mine, but it's a she's it's a 70s journal that I'm working on. No, my this is my old spring journal. I haven't started. I didn't do I didn't pull out the 70s stuff yet today. <laughs> I didn't get that far. And, um, so I'm um, adding stuff to the pages, and then I'll eventually um, sew them to get, you know, sew the signatures and put them in a folder thing. And we started this last year. We're just getting back to it because we started it right before the holidays. So we're having fun. Yeah. Yeah, this is kind of a hodgepodge of stuff in here. That's kind of your style. I think. All right, this is better. Hodgepodge? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like, like you're doing. I wouldn't do a page, it looks like. I mean, I just think yeah. that's style. Like, I wouldn't, I don't think I would do that. Yeah, I just kind of get started and then figure, then I just kind of figure it out as I go. Yeah, because you've done other pages like in that same kind of style. Yeah. Okay, how's that? Yeah, that draws your attention to the yeah, rabbit by putting the eggs in front of them. Yeah. Well, look at, no, Colleen, it's, I put, 
this is the one I stamped. This was my practice. Oh, stamp. tricky you. And it's just, see how much it, it just made a really good stamp. Yeah. And it gives, yeah. And it's a little more dimensional too. Yeah. Right. Because right. this is all, this wasn't a smooth surface that I had to stamp on. You okay, Eileen? That's like okay. joke. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do we need uh -oh. to call it, do we need to call a hunky paramedic for you? It sounds good. Okay. I'm right on. <laughs> there. I'm going to do that. Uh -huh, that's make, oh, you know what? I should edge it in the brown. In the just the edges where it's torn. Lori said she's not getting chores done on her days off. She's too busy junk journaling. <laughs> I think that sounds um, like way more fun. Hold on, where's my card at? The chores, the chores can wait. They'll From always be there. .com. I am creative. You cannot expect me to clean the house too. There you go, Lori. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best ever. That's, oh, dude. That's good. I like that. My third daughter is very short waisted, no room for the baby except out front. Oh, yeah, Katie is short waisted too. So am I. And she's kind of tiny too, isn't she? Kinda? Yeah, she's she is she is petite. Yeah, I have an easier time. She is a long torso. Who's got the long torso? You or Tom? Tom. Yeah, we'd be buying clothes and that. You know, I had to buy different because they were just built different. Uh huh. Yeah, short waisted versus long waisted. Even when they were little. My dad is also got a, a long torso. I know he does. I'm trying to think about his parents. Say his dad did. I don't know about. I don't think his mom did. Maybe it's a guy thing. He's got a guy trait. <laughs> or okay, Cam. there. Now it's popping out. It, that's what it needed. So I put the ink around the edge. Yeah, and I think I, I like the fact that you're adding down top instead of stamping in it because yeah. it's got the torn edge. I like how that looks better. Yeah, that's much better. Yeah, this. I do like the other stuff on there, but the bunny. No, I do too, but I think I like that you adding the bunny on there just, I think, better than stamping on there. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I'm still streaming. Yay, hey, my sandwich is here. Maybe I'll, p oh, you know what I'll put on here? Maybe I'll put my favorite Velveteen Rabbit quote on here. Oh. I love the Velveteen Rabbit. Is that mine? Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Kevin. I'm sorry. I'm eating. He's taking a bite. Oh, well, Jack perked up. <laughs> yeah, the snoring. Oh, the snoring so. stopped. <laughs> Didn't it? Isn't that funny? <laughs> the snoring has stopped. Hmm. Jack, what a character. The devil told me over. I just took a bite. That's all right. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm going to try this stencil one here. I need some. I have this color here matches really well with this paper line of it's Sedona of, of uh, Dina Wakeley's. 
Okay, I'm going to have to do the music. It's here. drying out. It's barely coming out. It's so dry. Oh, oops. I don't want it to come out like that. Don't use it, you lose it. It won't last forever. The color matches so well. That I oh, that's end, cool. End up doing is wetting it so that way. Where's my spray bottle? That way it. Once I get on the sponge, it just wet it, and then it worked fine. Okay, it's going to do this. Yeah. I can hold my paper. Oh, no, I still... Okay, so the bunny's going down. These two are going down for sure. Let's see how this looks. I got to really hold this in place because it's very thin. This is where maybe the sprays would have been. Uh, the sprays might have went under it, though, because it is really thin. I don't know. Okay, we'll move. Need more paint. <laughs> well, we have good yellow on the back. Pick. Let's see. Or brown. Let's see. Yellow. Not two colors. Go with this one. Let me get another dauber. There you go. I have a, no, that's orange. No, I need to just use that one. Okay. I have some of this off on something. Oh, and Eileen is our mod. You can't see, but can hear, Lori, if you're new to the channel. She, just, oh, yeah. uh, she hangs out and uh, watches chat and um, talks and stuff. So if you're wondering why you hear three people, she has her camera off. Yes. Of course, we got a glimpse of her earlier. Yep. Go, go back. <laughs> <laughs> Rewind and you'll get to see her. The second daughter has a long torso. I was measuring her dress. I did it twice. She was five inches long, five longer waist by two inches there. Wow. You're not crazy. I would say for sure there's a, yeah. Well, there's also a difference in their height as well. Too. There's a difference in their height and definitely a difference in, in the, their builds. Okay, guess who moved and is sitting right next to me on the floor? I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you love me? Waiting for crumbs. Where did I do with the sprays? Tom brought me. He brought down. Let me look around a second. Okay, All right. I'm not thinking about trying to spray with this girl thing. Let me see if I can find them. They're down here. I just got to figure out where they're. Yeah, that's not it. That's not it. What a color. All right. That's other stuff. Just so. Let me look around a second. Where did he put those? Oh, the crossover. I see him. Okay. Okay, I see him. That makes sense. I've got a lot of stuff on this side. A lot. Let me go grab that. It's on the other side.
I need some cool 70s colors. Oh, 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 that one's my Tim. He doesn't really do 70s. Let's see if I can find like an orange and a... Here's a green. Here's a turquoise. Orange would be... Oh! Uh, campfire. Is campfire more red than orange? Might be more red than orange. Oh, I found a Halloween orange. Oh, there you go. They turned out to be five inches taller now. And they're, okay, 48 and 45. Yeah, Kim is, he's a, she's at least four inches taller than Katie. Yeah, she's, she's quite five. And it's all in her waist, like the, that's where she yeah. gets her height. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. It is. Wait, wait, I just don't know where I'll choose. Orange and hot pink. I don't know why I'm so set on using these bunnies, but <laughs> oops. Why not? There, I think that's, this is better, I think. And having them all bunched together in the middle of the page. Hold on, I've got five, two more right here. Or let's see. Uh, ah, just a minute. I dropped one. <laughs> Okay, here it is. Okay, now let's do that. Let's hide in my hide any of these. There, how's that? I like it. Still needs something, but I do like I I do like these filling in. So what hey Eileen, did you think of um popping out of the pot? Um 
Yeah, you might have stepped the border. You stepped away, I think. I don't know what border stamps you have. Okay. I, thought, I thought you were going to use the stitching one. Yeah, I think that's, I think I am. I'll, I'll do the stitching. Because I don't have that many border stamps. And I like the stitching because it's light. It won't fill in too much. No, it'll just kind of give it a little something along the edges. All right, I'll go with that. Okay. I think, oh my gosh, it's 3.30. I think I'm going to stop here. Take a picture of this. I think this is where these little tickets are going to go. And then I'll do the, I'll get the Sussy Witch Stitch Stamp I want to use. And maybe I'll just have it, like, it won't all be connected. It'll just be, like, you know, like, here and then over here, down here. It won't just be one big stitch all the way around. Oh, you mean irregular? Just. Yeah. Yeah. All righty. This is fun. Yeah, this I was fun today. I got a bunch done. Oh, oh here. Let me put you big. I want to see. I haven't even been really paying attention right. to what you've been doing. Hold I on. I got to re-spray this one now. I uh, threw that in there, and it totally covered up her. So now I got to, like. Uh-oh. Yeah. Right, well, let me put you big. Hold on. I'm not. This is the one thing I don't play with too much is the sprays, and you can tell. It'll, But it's it'll be fun, though, to use them. Like I should, I covered up, part of that with the blue and it was not really my intention. It just kind of, there, now I brought it back. There. I, I'm going to put other stuff on here, but I thought I'd just play and see, you know, play with some of the uh, stencils. I yeah, just to there. break it. You can put stuff to like break up the lines. Yeah, and I can just go and add other things on top. But I really like this. this Red, that might be good. Oh, no, let me try this real quick. I can flip through. This paper holds up pretty good, too. This um, Blu-ray or whatever it is, Blu-ray paper. Uh-huh. This holds up to the spray is pretty good. Oh, good. Uh, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure how that was going to do. Well, I'm just going to wipe the sprays off on this page. There you go. That way you don't, if, if you're going to cover it up anyway, you might keep some of it. You might not. Okay. I don't want my stuff to stick together. Okay, so mostly I just glued all day. So, yeah, so I added Here, Move it up one. just a little bit. Kelly, move it up. Thank you. All right. So we added the girl and the paper. I think that was the only thing down there. Up a little bit more. More? Yeah. I had to move my stuff. Okay. <laughs> there we go. I mean, very confined space. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now we can see it. All right. Added the girl. Cute. And then the blue over here to tie in with that. I don't know what else I'm going to do. I just moved off. I didn't know. I love those. Oh, those turned. I like those. That scrap of paper is so cute. Did nothing there. Did some sprays there. Added the paper from Father School and the, all the envelopes. I think all um, that was there. Those were just, these were just all the bases I put down last time. Then I did this how one. Cute. And then I just added that. And then. Over here, added the paper. And then there is the back. Oh, cool. Oh, well, that'll her. be fun. That'll be fun to play with. Yeah, and then I changed out the, because I switched both because that book was getting, like, really full. So then, because I originally was working in this signature, and then I pulled some out. And I did the same thing. I covered the envelope with that paper, 
added some magazine stuff. I'll added that folder one time. I just did sprays and filled it in. Did that. Cool. I love that paper. Such cool paper. I think that's blank, blank, blank. That was already there. I'll added part of the folder we did with um Kathy Arbor. Kathy Arbor, thank you. Oh nice. I thin that out. And then the other I don't think I did anything in this one. So I got three signatures going. So I can go back and get these done. So very fun. So you did you got a lot done. Yeah, I did. It was fun. So now I'm loving all these. These oh, this paper is so cute. Hope everybody had a good time and yeah, look forward thanks. to seeing the flapper book tomorrow. Yeah, Anne will be on tomorrow. And I think Aunt Beck comes on after her, Kim and Lisa, and Devin's premiere. So it's a it's a it's a full afternoon tomorrow. Mm-hmm. It sure is. Well, thanks All right. everybody. Well, I'm going to go eat my sandwich. Yes, I and... hope everybody has a good rest of the day. Yeah, you too, Eileen. Eileen, thank you so much for staying. This was fun. Yeah, And I didn't you, fall asleep. You did not fall asleep. That's, <laughs> That's pretty good. We didn't put Eileen to sleep. <laughs> That's always a good sign. All right, guys. See you later. Bye, Bye everybody. everybody. Bye, everybody. All right, here we go.